is money, honey. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. It's like bees to the honey. Honey, money, honey, money, honey. It's the sauce cast, baby. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome to the Sauzcast, where finance meets romance, the sexiest financial show in the world, only here on Valuetainment. And you know what we do here, right, Nat? Always. What do we want to do here, Nat? We want to see you get paid, laid, and do it your way. Yeah, you stole my line. I'm sorry. I All right, to, you stole my you line. You asked okay. me for it. All right. Uh, we want to see you get paid, laid, do it your way. We know what's going on here today. We've got an amazing panel today. Uh, we got the second best looking guy on the panel, John Zerka, oh, in the ooh. house. Okay, who's Just the kidding. first? You're, you're probably winning right now because you got fresh beard going on right there. Mm -hmm. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, thank I'm, you I, for having me. Of course, Zerka. Of course, you're you're um, you're out there, dude. You're making a name for yourself. Famous. Famous. You know, they see sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. You're faking the hell out of it. You're making it. I thought when I got when I get all this like notoriety and fame, it would be just like coke and, and whores. <laughs> Dude, I was right. It's just coke and whores, like hotel to hotel, it's crazy. Nice, what do you prefer more? Coke. Okay. I hate women. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of lovely women, um, we have some lovely women on the panel that um, are gonna, you're gonna be nice to them, or are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna No, make... no, this one's gonna cry. I'm gonna make <laughs> oh, this one no. cry. Oh, no. I said not to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of lovely women, we got Astrid Garay in the house. Hello. She's Hi, Latina everyone. in tech sales. Yes, I work okay. in tech sales. Okay, so I'm asking all the ladies, even Zerka. So what do you do for work, and what's your relationship status? Go ahead. Cool, so I'm an account executive at a large tech company, and I sell cloud services to other businesses. Um, and as far as my relationship status, I am newly engaged. Wow, oh, newly engaged, so congratulations. I'm very excited about Zerka, that. Zerka, sorry bro, you missed out. <laughs> yeah, well, what does he do? Um, he's in real estate. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Why is it unfortunate, Zerka? Like he's not a real man. Oh. Because he doesn't, because he does real I mean, he estate? Does, like, what is real estate? Like, yeah. he looks at property? He does very well, and he's, he's so not do a, I. He's not a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> a real man is a YouTuber, that's right. <laughs> Respect to you. Uh, how long are you guys together? Um, it's been three years, so. And when did you get engaged? At the end of May. So and how much recently. sex? Okay, we're not gonna talk about that, but, oh. but enough. <laughs> Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm uh. getting tased at this podcast. <laughs> tased? Yeah. By who? This girl. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Saying? Well, we have Diana Estevez back. Hi. She's here, model, actress. Yes. Last time you were here in like a little red riding outfit. Now you got, you know, this little sexy bow tie pink thing going on. Yeah. You feeling what? I'm feeling the Barbie mood. Nice. Barbie Did you see the Barbie along, movie? Feeling it, no. You I didn't see it? Didn't see it yet, but I'm already getting in the mood, manifesting it, making sure. I make manifesting. It. <laughs> when you hear manifesto, that just it's demonic. Uh, <laughs> Christ is king, and uh -huh. anytime these LA type people try and manifest, they're going against God's will. Why is that? Well, I mean, have you heard of LA women who, as they're peaking during their orgasm, uh, masturbation, they do wish fulfillment? Have you heard of this? No. I have not. Yeah, it's a type of witchcraft, oh. and they they increase their material wealth on earth by uh, working with demons and the invisible forces of nature, the, the impulses that crisscross in our psyche that tell us to like rape, cheat, murder, and steal. So all those evil impulses, these electric forces are demons. It's not like guys with horns, right? This is how they explained it in, esoteric, in the esoteric. And this is witchcraft, the manifestation part. M my manifestation is from prayer. Right? I pray too. I didn't say to I who? don't pray to God. Which God? There is only one God. Jesus is King. Jehovah, God. Hmm. Jesus is. I pray to God. Okay. So, witchcraft. Back in the Salem witch trials, they were uh, burning witches at the stake. Turns out they weren't really witches. If you were there, Zerka, Salem witch days. Well, hold up. Northeast. When, that's, would, would that you is, have uh, encouraged that's that? That's fake news. Really? When they were burning witches, they were burning Ghislaine Maxwell. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what the witches were doing to children. Mm. Mm. It wasn't random women, you know? Mm. Like... We weren't that lucky. You're saying the women in the Salem witch days were... Yeah, the, the people who got accused of being witches were torturing children. I looking. thought they were adulterers, mm. like the Scarlet Letter vibe. No, there's a lot of fake history there. 
And remember, if the news is fake, imagine how fake the history is. The whole timeline is warped, right? Genesis is the beginning. You believe in dinosaurs, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, when's the first dinosaur? When is the first dinosaur bone ever found? Uh, I'm not trolling. I'm, I mean this. No, okay. When was it found? Yeah, it's as late as the 1700, uh, 1700s by only straight white men in the West. Nowhere else in Asia. And they were like a million dollars a bone. That's why when you go to museums, dinosaur museums, 99% of the bones are replicas made out of rat bones and resin. And the real bones are in the Smithsonian Museum. But that's actually giant bones from the Bible. The Bible talked about the giants. You went your whole life believing in mainstream media's Jurassic Park. Like, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> the Pale Paleolithic era, the Mesozoic, like, all these are all fake. Like, you, do you believe in evolution? Uh, yeah, to a certain extent, yes. Where are the intermediary species between the whale and the whale that grew legs over millions of years of adaptation? So are you saying you don't believe in evolution? Let me ask you, how do you get different bred dogs? You breed dogs with dogs, not wolves. The reason you can have a different dog is because dogs were on Earth. It has nothing oh, to do... It I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. It has nothing. Zerka's on the show. All of a sudden, we're talking dinosaurs <laughs> and breeding scared. dogs. But check it out. It yeah. has nothing to do with like Canis lupus. When you look at evolution, there should be millions of. You know how they find bones everywhere? Where are the bones? Because adaptation is real. Animals adapt to the environment. But species to species, whale to land whale, there's no fucking bones. There should be millions found. What's a land whale? I'm sorry. Well, uh, through evolution, they would adapt to, to become land mammals, right? That's what you guys believe. So, again, and you know what's funny is you guys say you can only see this through the scope of time through millions of years. And, and that's what... Imagine, 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 imagine if a scientist... Yo, imagine if a scientist said, oh, it takes millions of years to notice this. That's like saying we'll never have evidence. But right? isn't it like if, you know, animals adapt and whatever doesn't adapt, it dies off or it's right, the Right, but same. think about it. Darwin, I, I can adapt. Darwin, yeah. Zerka is a beautiful olive Albanian man who can adapt to the sun. Okay. But I'll never be an African-American. I'll never transition into a black man, right? Unless you, but your like, kids cohabitate. Your no, I am the, no, no, I am that nigga. But I will never You're transition not, from, from one not. human to an another. A, an you guys are believing that whales transitioned into fucking dogs. Oh, what? That's yeah. what you guys are taught. I don't. That's how fucking that. stupid it is. Zerka, let me reel this. And in. You know, let, let me reel this in. to Barbie from if Barbie you, to this. If you look at all the geniuses throughout history, the Da Vinci's and stuff, they all, all those homosexuals, secular guys, they all grew up in a. Christian theocracy, meaning if these women were here in the 17, uh, excuse me, if, if they were here during the Enlightenment, they'd be, we'd all be way smarter. When you grow up in a Christian era, you know, they tell you it's the dark ages, it's the worst time. No, it's not the worst time. Knights didn't even tell white lies. Everyone was married and you were promised a virgin. I was promised a virgin. Everyone was promised a virgin. They tell you it's the dark ages to keep Christianity they want to put their foot on Christianity's neck, really. That's why they tell you, oh, it's the dark ages, it's the medieval times. Those are the best times to live. You think fucking abortion central today with everyone divorced is the best time to live? Today this is, is the best time in the history of the world to live. Really? You think back oh, then was? The okay. Black Plague, the bubonic plague, when uh, yeah. childbirth... Uh, yeah, here's your COVID, your COVID died. plague. Yeah. Hold on. Nobody died of COVID. Hold, hold and on. let me tell you hold something. Hey, hold on, hold on, no, hold on. Let me, let me destroy this. Let me destroy this, yeah. okay? And I'll destroy you too, because you guys all agree with this stupid opinion. You said today is the best time to live. Yeah. Hell As, yeah. We've, cured, we've cured, I think, um, uh, poverty has Bull been dick. essentially Bull cured. Dick. Check this out. The highest purchasing power society's ever had. Everyone has money. And anxiety and depression skyrocket. Well, that's a whole other conversation. No, about no, no, social media, no. You John. said it's the best time to live. Correct. And now you're saying you got to live with anxiety, as as, depression, as far, and despair, correct. and Th kill that yourself. Is an issue. That is you got to kill yourself. Well, aren't you a fan of social media? 
What? Aren't you going to make all your money I'm on social media? I'm not a fan of seeing how many people kill themselves. I, I wonder what you think was happening back fit. then. Like, people were just, like, not killing them. Were not killing, killing each other. But listen, they at were the killing same each other. other. Retarded woman's talking, IQ. Talking. The wow. same that you speak before. You weren't there. You weren't. He weren't with the dinosaurs. We, you we, weren't there. So we, you we don't cannot have to. We can go to the 1950s. If you go to the 1950s, these people did not have mental illness and STDs. That's true. There was also pervasive racism and Jim Crow essentially was ending and uh, well, civil that's rights I, wasn't a thing. So I, I say, you know, I think I say, we are improving. I want to go to the 1950s without the racism, but with the sexism. Okay. Well, without you know. this, without this, without that. Like there's so with, many without things. Without our vote. <laughs> there's so wow. many things you need to it. be taking out of the 1950s. All right, anyway, let's, uh, let's finish our introductions. Oh, we, we haven't even met Maria yet. You gotta meet Maria. That's the Jameson. Yeah, like, how did he yeah. <laughs> By the way, what are you drinking right now? I drink. I, honestly, I did a bunch of blow, and now it's some Jameson. Okay, well, okay, cheers. Okay, I've okay, only okay, done the Jameson, nice but Lachaim to you. You don't do any cocaine? That's not my thing. You guys? No. Really? Nope. Nobody Healthy. does cocaine here. No. What you fucking? Why you would guys you need that when you have God? Well, that's no, your secret weapon. Um, <laughs> there's nothing like the Holy Spirit in a line of blow. Jesus and blow yeah, the Holy know. Trinity with the, with the whores. <laughs> so <Jesus> Respect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet Maria uh, before one. she starts getting into it with John Zerka. I told you guys, uh, John's a character. Uh, oh, yeah. Does yeah. anyone call you Berserka? Put your mic down. Yeah. Oh, uh, Berserka. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's kind of. I'll be honest. I'm like very calm. People think I like. A lot of uh, podcasts don't have me on because they think I'll just start like fighting people. I'm not like that. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I actually think you're. <laughs> I'm stable. Chill, dude. Yeah, I'm a stable that, genius. Not... I mean, we've got the security here with the guns. So, I mean, I'm not worried. It's fine. Yeah. No, the, um, the women. The women should be worried. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, Maria Quintero. Hello, hello. This is her, I think, third time back on the show. Yes. Yay. Lovely girl, certified fitness trainer. Correct. I asked you. I'll never forget this. Rate yourself one through ten on this crazy scale, and you said eleven. Eleven. Oh, that's your kind that's of girl, bro. The delusional type. Yeah. That's your kind like of girl. <laughs> that's the stupid type. <laughs> there we go. If you think anyway, so. Anyway, there's no human oh, that's an eleven. What the God. fuck? Bro, you wish. I I think I'm a nine point nine point six on the crazy scale. No, on attractive. On crazy, I maxed that out. What yeah, made you give yourself that number? Well, I, here's the thing, though. Have you noticed women never leave coke head? Men, like men who are addicted to cocaine. They never leave them? They never that. leave them. Because good they girls, leave. they will never they, date no, no. it. Well, well because maybe they they're addicted to it as well. No, no, no. They're addicted they, to the drama. They leave the drunks. They leave the weed guys, but they'll never leave the cocaine guy because his, his brain is active. The sun is active. It's the male principle. The moon is female. It's lunar. Mm -hmm. It's passive. So you guys gently nurture the man to sleep and he wakes up to be active to make millions of dollars, the coke kid is active, right? He stimulates the bitch. But you oh. become reliant, you become reliant on something like that in yeah. order to kind of compete with everyone else. Well, so don't I'm, you feel I, like I, maybe that's more of, I don't, yeah, I'm it's not, an advantage for a moment, but I, it, long term it can be a crutch. But I use the drug just to kind of uh, commercialize and make my fucking topics viral. But what I'm really saying is, to be a man, you have to take action. And you have to be active. But you Just don't need do it. coke. How to much do that. pushback? So you proudly do coke? No, not proudly. I'm not you no, coke no, no, with but you're, you're with announcing repent. it. <laughs> with repent. Yes. That's amazing. Like, I did coke. I uh, please, that. please, uh, I, uh, accept my forgiveness, Jesus. By the it's way, what are, those, every night. <laughs> what are those shoes? Just so we're clear. These Never are seen these. Yeezys, and uh, I know you don't like Kanye, right? I love Kanye. Really? I just, yeah. I mean, it's music. Well, you're one of the good Jays. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course. Would you have him on here? 100%. We're you working know, on I it. just spoke to him. What'd he say? Well, I spoke to him for something else, but I could have him on here. Yeah. He's looking for places. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. we're in touch with his camp. But he's very spicy, so yeah. I don't know if you we want We may to. have your friend on soon. Nick. Yes. Yeah. You're about to get destroyed. Why am I going to get destroyed? Who's debating Nick? There's some people. You yeah. might know Michael Sartain. Uh, oh, I just, know your friend I destroyed Nima. Michael your Sartain in a... I don't think you destroyed Michael Sartain. Don't he's one call sharp him my guy. friend. Nima's no friend. I oh. thought he's your buddy. No, he's I thought weird. that was your dad. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know him? He said, that's my son. Call me daddy. I saw that. Okay, he's 5'9", and I'll knock him the fuck he's out. He's 6'3". He's not short. You don't think I'll knock him out? I didn't say that. He's not 5'9", though. <laughs> I'm knocking him out. How tall is Nick Fuentes? 
He doesn't fight. How tall is he? 5'10", I don't know. He's not 5'10". But he doesn't fight. Yo, what is this? What is what? Nima fights. He boxes, so yeah. he can fight me. Nima's not soft. Anyway, what, do you, have you, you've gotten do a you debate fight? with Nima before. Well, he pretty much called me, uh, he, he thought I hate his tribe of people. Listen, I don't care if you're Jewish, Buddhist, Muslim, as far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, you're all going to hell. Je <laughs> Jesus is king. Jesus is king. What, when you write 2023, Jesus. what date are you writing? You're writing your little gay fucking dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex day? You're writing Christ. BC. Before That's common right. era, before Christ. That's right. So were you born Muslim? Yes. And then what happened? You had an epiphany and you became Christian? I read, I was obsessed over power. And when I read that the tops of power don't have a problem with any religions, they only have a problem with cross, the cross, mm -hmm. they're anti-Christ. They'll promote Islam on the algorithm. They'll promote this. But someone like Nick or anyone with a Catholic message, they'll nuke and destroy. And I kept wondering, I'm like, what is all this attack on the straight white male? Because we all know that that, that motherfucker is the most attractive. But there's, it's not just jealousy. The straight white male attack is an attack on the people who hold the cross closest to their heart. It's the Christians. So I was like, why is there so much attack on Christian nations when they literally brought economic prosperity to everyone oh my god right? so what was your your moment when you said all right i'm a muslim but there's something about this uh, christianity thing and you went deeper and you made a yeah conversion what happened I, I i studied the trinity and i realized that our reality is a trinity like there's heaven where you think you'll go you and earth your father mother and the astral flame of sex which is the trinity of a family. I actually thought the trinity was coke, whores, and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I could be mistaken. Um, no, it's coke, more coke, and dinosaurs. Yeah. Or maybe coke, <laughs> whores, and more. No, but whores. really think about it. The trinity yeah. is your mother, your father, and when they have sex, that electricity that made you, the trinity is the family unit. But what and if they have twins? That's fucking retarded. I'm talking about, <laughs> that's like, that's like a, what percent is that? The point is, the Trinity is everywhere, and the biggest attack on YouTube was on the Trinity and how it doesn't make sense. Heavens, individual, earth. Literally everything, uh, liquid, solid, gas, everything you notice on earth is a Trinity. That's the number three, the Masonic number the three. The rule of three. Yes. I, I condone this message. Another thing is 500 fucking witnesses saw Jesus resurrect. And you guys want to say it's fake news? 500! These guys were getting their Jesus heads Christ. cut off. They're literally getting their heads cut off. Muslims, Buddhists, everyone else throughout the years would be like pretending, oh, I, don't, I didn't see shit. These guys were getting their heads cut off saying, yeah, I saw that shit. Who the f what kind of f what kind of humans would cut their fucking heads off? Well, if you know the history about Christianity, they also did. They also killed some people that they didn't believe in Jesus. They didn't believe in God, and they killed them. Yeah, so those it's people are rapists same, and murderers. It's kind of like, the same. It's let's also, let's it's in the, the dark, it's I know in what the you're dark history. Say. She's going to say the natives. It's the best time to leave. You're going to say so the native me. people, right? Huh? The, the Native Americans? Mm -hmm. Dude, the Native Americans were grabbing butcher knives <laughs> and cutting babies' heads off on a fucking altar, sacrificing to their sun god, these are the most disgusting humans you could imagine. They're killing a newborn baby, a five-year-old, and the Christians are like, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? Oh my God. Are you telling me the Christians are the bad guys here? Oh my God. Okay, anyway, we, ha we by the way, just for the f folks at home, this was the introduction. Yeah, we yeah. haven't even we gotten to topics yet. Let's 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 I, we're going to get to the cocaine. This is, yeah, this is the cocaine. We're all over the place. <laughs> it is my status? job to keep it in the, in the rails, okay? I'm not, trying to turn off the girls. Thank you, brother. I'm going to keep it in the rails. Not those kind of rails. We can save those for the weekends, brother. Those, all right? Small bumps right now. We'll keep the rails for later. Uh, we still haven't even met Natalia, for those of you that uh, I am new. do not know Natalia, my, my lovely co-host that's over here. Hello, hello. The, uh, 
The baddie with the Jamaican powder. You got a different new hairdo going on today. What's going with the little poof? Uh, nothing. Like I it. just got some layers, got some sass in me, and I'm Cute. ready to go. Sass and sauce right here. There you go. Uh, she's going to be reading all the super chats. Yes. Um, all the super if, chats. if Zerka allows a woman to do her job, we, you will be doing your job. Yay. Reading the chat. Do you approve her doing her job, John? As long as she doesn't vote. <laughs> All right. So if we do a poll out there, Angel, make sure that whoever's Wait, are you voting, women voting, they're uh, yes. men. No women for Zerka. Okay. So, awesome. Nat. Yes. Welcome awesome. back. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks. What you got for us? Um, well, today, happy Sauce Cast Day. Thank you all for tuning in, of course. Um, we are actually uh, 193,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, do all the things. Let's get to 200,000. Today's going to be a spicy episode. Mm -hmm. well, honestly, when I heard Zerka was coming on, I was like, he's on 10 on 10 of the time. So I'm he's excited. He's on 10. He's on 10. <laughs> Zerka, so by the started. way, couple, rapid fire. Because I do want to get through topics. I don't want to spend uh, two hours debating dinosaurs. Because clearly you won this round. Yeah. Dinosaurs never existed. Reptar all doesn't all, exist. They're all fake bones. It's all fake. It's probably, you know, you probably believe in flat earth. We're not even going to go there. Absolutely. The earth is a geocentric, motionless plane. Like Einstein said, the earth okay. is an observable motion. Here's what I've learned. Plane. If you use big, smart words that people don't understand, you win. Because they're just like, this guy here's just said what, Here's what I learned. This guy just said geocentric. Here's what I learned. A grown adult. <laughs> believes in the CGI photos of Mars Rover and Jupiter. They're CGI, bro. Snap out of it. Did you read the Flat Earth book? Like the huge ass. What is that? I don't know. I'm no, wondering if that's where no, you got your No, I read the Bible from. and it said the firmament. Like, think about it. At what, if it's eight inches per mile square for curvature calculations, at what height, what altitude would you see a curve on an Earth? You don't even know. I actually like. I feel like I have seen the curve on the Earth when I look at the horizon, or I'm, when I'm in a plane. Like I do see the you curve. See, you're the only human who sees it at thirty thousand feet. Is curve? she fucking retarded? I, mean, it, I feel like it does curve. <laughs> so do you so think you're that the Earth it, is plane? Better let her drown. You're seeing it at thirty thousand feet. I feel like I do see a curve when I look oh up in the sky. Oh, or... my God. Do you feel that way, even, too? Even the rainbow curves um, when you... I only take private jets these days, but I'm sure you've been following oh. me on social media, so we fly a little bit higher. What I've no, learned notice is how she said rainbow? Rainbow. How do you recreate a rainbow with the scientific method? You need water vapor, a light source, and a glass dome. That's why rainbows are dome-shaped. They're not spherical because there's a dome over the flat Earth the firmament in the Bible, like snap out of it. That's I'm not going to fight you, you on study? this because I'm a conspiracy theorist. So like, I feel like you could also be right on it. Well, I'm 100 percent right. I'm in between. Your planet X does not I, exist. I haven't like um, researched this. Okay. Diane, topic should, do your research. Come back and then you versus Zerka, Diane. She can come to my. She can come to my hotel. She can come to my hotel and do research with okay. me. Okay. You're fun. gonna get. You're gonna get down. Do you like blow? No. Oh. John, by the way, what's your relationship status and what do you do for work <laughs> officially? Um, yeah, intro. Yeah, obviously, I'm dating my teenager. She's, you know, eight, just turned 18. And uh, that's my girlfriend. And uh, it's not mm -hmm. that serious. But obviously, like, in my past, I'm a rotten guy. But the one thing I don't do is cheat. So if it's a serious relationship, I don't cheat. But this is kind of, like, relaxed. So, like, I have a lot of bitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I sin sometimes, so I'm not going to lie. How long have you been with your 18-year-old? Like a month. A month. When did she turn 18? Like a month ago. All right. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> this is why I exit stage left on this conversation, Zerka. <laughs> what? Well, hold on. Let's be honest. I'm bro. a 21-plus guy. Just I'm gonna be honest. You know, I can't go I, to a bar with a girl who's like using fake IDs at this point in my life. This no, is not. I'm so tired. This is not of, good. Didn't you? Weren't you a bouncer for like many yes, years? Yes, but I'm tired of being labeled as a pedophile. Because if you put me on a lie detector, a 25 year old woman is more attractive than an 18 year old. Makeup, body, everything. But Aww. she's been ran through. Like, how many bodies are you girls at? Have you been ran through? Oh no. How many guys fucked you? Yeah. I'm not gonna say. That's but what I thought. Stop well, the cap. Um, with all respect, you're you're um, ran through. No, she's a good. She's a good girl. I'm a good girl. She may or may not be dating someone right now. I don't put her business out there. She's recently engaged. You have a girlfriend. I want to say. But that's the problem. You want they a girlfriend? Get, they... She, you're single. What's your relationship status? Single. You're single. And who you? What kind of guy are you looking for? Six um, four, cokehead, dinosaur, but non-believer. No, no, that's not my type at all. I'm, I'm Good looking though. 
I'm telling you. Because she, that's desperate. If the right. cameras weren't on, she would like me. I'm telling you. Right? The, I think most I do, people, I think yeah, most people just, do like no, you. No, Latinas the, love to suck the skin off my dick. Okay, we just had some... Uh, <laughs> By the way, I have a question. I'm really for you. Oh, cozy. Yeah, you're good, Zerka. I'll let you know when. I'll let you know when to. You know, I'll, I'll give you the. All right, Zerka, calm it down a second. You're good. Who hates Zerka and who loves Zerka? Be honest. No, no, no. I'm not asking that. I'm asking you. In your opinion. We just met. Who hates you? Like out there in internet land, or like this fucking guy Zerka? And then who's your who are your peoples? Probably just feminists hate me. Feminists. Uh, I have a strong support from the black community, Latino community, white community. I mean, really, all men. The only people who don't like me are leftists, and because they're mentally ill. You're done. Right? <laughs> and uh, you know, they don't. They hate me like they hate Trump. Like they don't know why. Mm -hmm. And who do you love the most? And who do you hate the most? I love Donald Trump the most. And I thought it was God. Well, I mean, he loves Jesus. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I would never like for these kind of conversations. I wouldn't bring God into it because, mm -hmm. like, you know, we're beneath that. So many conversations. We've yes. Through. But but when we look at the 1960s sexual revolution, the peace sign is the cross inverted upside down and broken in half mm -hmm. because. When they took us away from the church, they got us to do crack. Like these leftists are smoking weed and doing psychedelics and trying to tell you that they got it figured out. Dude, the intellectuals like Destiny are letting their wives get fucked. And they're saying that's the, that's an okay position. But isn't crack cocaine? I, I'd rather do crack cocaine than let my wife get fucked. So, uh, by the way, we have a plenty of topics, but you brought up Destiny. He was on the show last week. We were having a conversation about Adam 22, what you've seen. Total with that. cocks, by the way. So, so, is this something that you frown upon or disgusted Abs by? I what's your level of disgust for what's happening with the Adam 22 situation? Destiny, I actually really like Destiny. Yeah. Melina, I actually really like Melina, even though she's sometimes loud and annoying. I actually. But would you I fuck like her? her? <laughs> no, I, I don't. I wouldn't fuck my friend's girl. That's just not my thing. But what's your take on these guys letting their girls? Be with other men. What the fuck? Well, I mean, if you look at women's arousal, the horniest they get is for a jealous husband. That's why jealous men like me do really good with retaining a woman. If you're not jealous, you can give your wife to someone else. You're psychically telling her subconscious that you don't care about her and she's going to leave you. Is that true, ladies? Do you like you're jealous not. men, Maria? No. You do not like that? No. Diane? I don't like Stop jealous men, but if you do give your girl to someone else, exactly. I'm sure they're gonna leave you. I do agree with you on that. Okay. You do. Wait, okay. do, wait, wait. Jealousy can is not a turn but on. But it is. No, it no, is don't a turn lie. On in some, How the in fuck is it in every erotica novel and every movie? Jealousy is not a turn on. You guys are lying. But if you're literally on TV lying. That's to a level. Stop the cat. What level? You can't be controlling. To, exactly. Like no, that's exactly where you get turned on. I okay. can see what you're uh, saying. Astrid, how about you? You're, think, you're, you're recently engaged. Yes. I think there has to be a fear of losing your person to some extent. So there has yes. to be some jealousy. Does he boss you around? No. Oh, so he's a cuck? No, he's not. He's very there, there is a gray area there. You're not like he's a boss or a cuck. There needs There's to be wait, a he doesn't tell you to shut the fuck up ever? <laughs> no, he better not or I'll tell him all. Yo. No, I think, yikes. again, it's a matter of having respect for each other. And again, setting But he's down not the authority. The Bible says that... He's the authority, even when you guys have a child, when the boy turns 18, he's an authority over you, woman. Well, well give, me, give me an example of like when he would be an authority. For example, like you're on a show with the best looking guy on YouTube. Thank oh. you, Zerk. I appreciate uh, the call. Wait, who's that? <laughs> Sorry, you're such a sweet guy. I don't Who need that right now. Right? I'm, not, I'm not going down on anybody. There's, Keep going. There's the comedy background, but think about Thank it. You. If I was your husband, I'd be like, no, bitch, you're not going on that show with Zerka. That Zerka guy is known for fucking a lot of women. What and you can't fuck? trust your girl? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just Being bad a optics. Podcast, just it's, talking. Is it? No, no, be honest. Debating, is it horrible like, optics? I can't even see your face with those glasses. Like, I have Have never you even, ever taken like, your face off? I, I, I can charm you guys, but is <laughs> it horrible <laughs> optics? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies, take a good look. Take your, take your hat off, John. You're not take bald. Take it off. Take it off. No, ladies, get a good look at you, John. I'm sweating. You're not bald. John, stop it, dude. Just You're sweating because of the cocaine. Relax. <laughs> <laughs>
the point I'm trying to make is, do these women really think their husbands, like, they don't care about their optics? Your husband doesn't care about your optics? Your husband is watching you right now next to me. Doesn't that make him feel weird? If I'm going to be honest, I had no idea you were the guest, the main guest. But I know, but <laughs> why are you out of the kitchen? But as, um, Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> Just do it. But we live in modern day times. Exactly. I work as well. Right. So he, he pays the bills and protects you from the burglar and you do nothing. No, I add a lot of value to our relationship. Like what? Well, I'm very loving. A very oh, empathetic. wow. He could get that from anyone. <laughs> I, he could get that I from am, a hooker. Oh, really? Definitely a hooker not. can be loving you, to you? What do you bring to his business? He's well, I work estate. on my own. I bring value as well. I bring in a lot of money as well. Too. You really think you guys are going to make it? Oh, You're yeah. literally outside of the kitchen. You're never going to make it. <laughs> I can cook too. I have, he can have best Why of both Why doesn't he get you pregnant? Well, I'm holding off on that a bit, but... Maybe what? soon. How old are you? I just turned 26. Why are you holding off on that? There's no, <laughs> there's no end just game besides do it. Because babies cost a lot of money, so I want to make sure that we're established before. You spend a lot of money on stupid. 300 shit grand over a lifetime, Zerka. Doesn't matter. She's I do what also she on say, makeup. As Ask her how much she spends on makeup. Bro, women spend on stupid shit all the time. Listen. She is coping. She's gonna keep pushing it off. And these guys are gonna break up. And check this out. I'll give you twenty thousand dollars if they don't break up. Listen, in the next as five a years. Christian woman myself, years. I yes. do want to make sure that I, you know, now that I'm engaged, that I get married. You shouldn't I have be to. outside that of the house. A, a That's 18 the point. Years old. Your man is, is doing the so male role. You're not doing the feminine role. Well, what Nobody is the has feminine to explain role? The Stay in the to fucking you. house. But what if he doesn't want that? All day, John. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Oh, they they raise the kids. Our they moms, don't have kids yet. Our moms did that. Listen, my mom worked, John. My mom worked <laughs> as well. My mom. No, she raised you first. I know your story. Yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, so don't. Until I was four years old, but Our, then, hold on, let me, let me back up. No, until you were in grade seven. I know your story. What the fuck are you talking about four years old? John, Stop. you know not to leave research. everything on Google. You know that. Huh? But your, your 18-year-old girlfriend, after she graduated school, what does she do? Just go right to the kitchen? What happens? Yeah, she's in the kitchen right now. Right now? Yeah. Oh, what she Was she making color? I have color. all color. of her oh, back. What is she cooking? I want to see what she's what, cooking. Yeah, what? She's cooking burnt casserole, but I have all of her... <laughs> I have all of her passwords, and guess what? You have her passwords? Passwords. Pa passwords Pass on everything. Oh, passwords. <laughs> but if she should if be in the kitchen, why would she have that would be an issue. <laughs> That's Andrew Tate. Hi. No, 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 no. But no. check That's this out. Not true. Check this out. Yeah, Andrew Tate's innocent. But yes, women love to be told to be feminine. This woman next wow. to me is acting masculine. Okay, She's literally up. at work, hold like up. an active man. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, I think... We should I actually think she's very feminine. Listen, really? We I should go, We should go on a date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, look at that. Listen. Her husband's letting her Listen. flirt with me. Listen. Then it's horrible. He's I've, traumatized that fucking cup. She's being respectful cup. to Listen, you. I've asked right. my fiancé, and what he's told me is that he wants not only a feminine woman, but a very strong woman. And yes. to me... That is ugly as fuck. What the, and a strong woman? Like, but get a, strong a trans woman, girl. Someone who has opinions, <laughs> someone who adds value to a relationship. Bro. Who bring, like you said, what do I bring to the table? Again, I bring in my intelligence. I, I Bro, just I bring your ovaries. <laughs> How about uh, that? If you want ovaries, just go uh, to a sperm bank. But that, that's Listen, the thing. She has no I, trajectory for her relationship. She I, doesn't... I do. Maybe we'll have kids. No, I'm what? not saying maybe. I said You're 26. Me... You're the fucking dinosaur we're talking Listen. about. <laughs> By the way, Zerka. 26 Asher, we're gonna come. To, we're going to come back to you. I promise you. We're not going to leave you hanging. <laughs> I would oh like God, some clarity. Stress. What is your ideal type of woman? What would you marry? Yeah. Um, what would you marry? Submissive. <laughs> Submissive, go. I mean, there's, is, you're a yeah, smart guy. Keep going. Not a good cook. Uh, submissive. <laughs> I would, Casserole burner. Go yeah. on. I would say uh, God fearing. Yep. And God fearing. Yeah. And, like fears God. Yeah, and I would say like, like moderate intelligence because they can't get anything above a moderate. Women. Okay. Right. Arthur Schopenhauer, one of the greatest philosophers of all time, said, "I've come to the conclusion that women can only reach a child's mindset." Oh. And that's not me. I'm just quoting Arthur Schopenhauer. What does that mean? Reach a child's mindset. It, it means when they have a million dollars, they buy IKEA furniture. They don't invest in crypto. 
<laughs> okay. She's well, laughing because she just bought a new couch. That's so Perfect funny. Segue. That is so funny. Perfect segue to our she first topic, couch. which ironically we're, we're getting to our first, first topic. topic. 42 minutes in with John Effin <laughs> Zerka. That's so funny. You're a wild man, bro, but that's... You're uh, getting views today. It's a controversial Appreciate topic it. every five seconds. So, uh, the truth gets views. Smart. Yeah. Uh, entertainment gets views. So, by the way, have you seen what the Powerball is up to these days? Mm. A billion dollars. A billion dollars. Oh, oh yeah, thank you. We're yeah. making it rain. All right, so it's the third largest purse that. in the game's history, and it's the seventh largest U.S. lottery jackpot. The next drawing is actually uh, this week, uh, end of the week. Mm. Um, so, Zerka, yeah. you win the Powerball. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna I'm do my. I'm rich, bro. I'm I don't gonna do the fuck. You, you ain't that rich, dog. You ain't that rich, dog. I'm gonna do a little John Burke, John Zerka impersonation. A billion dollars. I just won it. The tax man, he takes how much? Half of that shit. So now you're left with a half a billion dollars. Here's the truth. I buy the coke. I get the whores. I go on vacation. <laughs> We're gonna ask everybody, Zerka, what do you do with the money if you? win the billion dollar Powerball. I load a fucking nine millimeter because I realized that whether I have $5, 5,000, 500,000 or 5 million, I will never have a wife that's a virgin. And I'll kill myself right there. I thought you said you invest it. <laughs> I'm gonna sorry. So I'm trying to make a larger point here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's always a woman ruining it. I'm sorry, but I'm the point I'm making it. is the virgin option doesn't exist. Isn't that tragic? Hold on, Zerka. You just you're count you're contradicting yourself because this is why you I said teenagers. Yes. <laughs> if you had, Legal by, teenagers. Now, by the way, just to be clear here, Zerka, Zerka is not killing himself and he's definitely not doing it today on the show. Although it would get some sick views, though. We don't want we that today. I'd never. break the internet. Uh, yes, you would. But, like, let's... Let's, <laughs> right, let's not, not do there. that, yeah. Zerka, let's scale this down a little bit. We're not going to give it... Billion dollars, Zerka. <laughs> what are you doing with it? Yeah. Billion dollars? Um, yeah, I'd, I would just fund uh, church organizations and okay. uh, spread Christianity. I mean, really... That's your calling. Yeah, yeah, 501c3, nonprofit. You're going to spread Christianity throughout the globe. Well, I would go to the ex extremists like Nick. I have a question for you. This is part of a money show. So if you could maybe pick like a specific like place other than an organization like that, where would you Nick invest Fuentes. money? You would invest in people, invest I would in ideas. Go into, I would go into Nick and any masculine Catholic movement. Gotcha. What would you do with your personal finances? Coke and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. What do you, you buying your parents a house? You investing? You? Uh, my parents. You setting care. up a. My uh, parents are rich. Philanthropy? Or are they really? Yeah, they they did good. What do your parents do for work? Because we know your mom's in the kitchen. So what does your dad do for work? <laughs> <laughs> good point. Well, I mean, they're representatives of a home development company, and they did great for themselves. And they're nice. the types that don't. They hate money. Mm. They're those types. They're so they work hard, make money, but hate They're themselves? the opposite of me. Think of the opposite of me. That's who they are. So just um, dumb, like not my, good looking, my, yeah, my dad. not talking enough. <laughs> that's what you're saying. My dad thinks jaywalking is a crime. And, Very by the book. And I literally do blow off a teenager's asshole. 18 plus. Um, <laughs> I, no, on her birthday. <laughs> Zorko, this is your world. We're just living in it. We can't put words in your mouth. By the way, I'm we're, a pedophile. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, he's going. Zerka. Jesus uh, by the way, Christ. how many drinks have you had today? He's just like, how many? It views doesn't can matter I rail? because the truth <laughs> is, every man on earth is a pedophile. You know why men drink? No, no, that's actually not true. <laughs> oh yeah, you want me to debunk you? Please. Okay. Every man who is driving, he's like, whoa, bro, she's cute, and then they go, no, bro, she's seventeen. Why they are checked that she's seventeen? is because they found a 17-year-old attractive. Stop the cap. You lost me. What are you yeah. pulling over asking girls for their ideas? Have you, How do you, have, know? you, have you ever found a girl who's underage attractive and you're like, whoa, I didn't know she's underage? No, and I'm going on the record what? saying that is not anything I've ever done in my life. Why are you Jewish, Zerka, man? you're not going to set me up for this oh. one, guy. Oh. No, 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 no. Unlike you, I'm trying to uh, not ruin my reputation, this. brother. The word jailbait, it comes from somewhere. Oh, yeah. okay. 
You're done. Jail bait is there for a reason. Zerka, back to back to your parents, the I'm family. A a billion dollars Jesus that you're Christ, trying Zerka. To figure what did your mom do for work? With uh, insurance. So you oh, allowed nice. your mom to work? Wow. Yeah, after I was, but oh. after I was in high school. Gotcha. Then you allowed her to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ladies. Are, you, are you not entertained? <laughs> yeah, I am. I okay. am. By the way, uh, ladies, you too get a say here on this show. Just on this show. Other so shows, they might put you right in the kitchen immediately. <laughs> uh, are you thank guys... You, Adam. Actually, where is the kitchen here? Uh, Do you have a kitchen? kitchen? Oh, it's back there. Oh, okay, okay, let me if go. If you guys go. win the lottery, the ladies, <laughs> the semi-intelligent ladies who are non-virgins, <laughs> ill. Uh, what are you doing, Maria, if you won a billion dollars? Well, literally, a billion dollars, my life is set. Yep. So I will buy to my parents a house. I will buy a house to myself, too. And part of the money I will give you to um, immigrant organizations. And also for, like, chil can children all, with cancer. Hold on, hold on, Zerka, yeah. hold on. Children immigrants with cancer. do all the crime. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Really? You're here. There's actually stats that show that immigrants do less crime because they're fearful of getting <laughs> taken out of the country. Listen, you're here because in the middle more of whites. all... You're here in the middle of a Jamaican Build the wall. and Hispanic woman. <laughs> Build the wall so in front of her. Let me tell you something. Here, immigrants, we work harder okay. than people that burn here. We should have sex. What? Oh, my If you God. say so. Oh but I, I will this. give it okay. to buy a house for my parents <laughs> and also uh, immigrants organizations. If you had all that money and you saw, <laughs> this is hypothetical, but you saw yeah. Zerka. He ran on some tough times. He got locked up, maybe some for, for some pedophilia. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's out. He was cleared. He was exonerated. He's innocent. And he's like, I'm on the side of a street. I will help and he him. needed some money. Would you would you help Zerka? Probably not with money because he's gonna spend it in coke and, <laughs> and horse. <laughs> but what would you do? I will give him like tons of books so he can study. Yeah. Because he, he needs it. How about some ass? He needs it. And <laughs> After that, he has to figure it out. With education, Some you, can go, okay. you can go up. I respect your answer. Diane. All right. You win a billion dollars. What are you doing with the money, and how much are you giving to Zerka? Okay, so I am planning on investing the money. So I would get um, Make yourself at home stakeholders job. that, would, like, um, I don't know what they're called, brokers or bankers, basically to stock broker. Yeah, to give me to make a portfolio for money me. Money manager, asset manager, yeah, Jewish to create, man. Uh, my people, a, a stakeholder <laughs> right. portfolio. John, for when me. you make all your money, I guarantee you're gonna call my people. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. I already do. Yeah. My biggest investors are Jewish. Exactly, because you're not dumb. You're not dumb. Go ahead, Diane. Okay, so I would invest my money into a portfolio of different companies, and then I would also. Uh, hire a business developer to build like three different businesses for me to basically like with that money be able to afford buying my parents a house buying myself a house and I would eventually want to fund an organization to help people in Cuba have more money than they do right now mm -hmm. and I'm giving this idea out because I feel like people need to do it so if you have the money and are able to they just need to be sent money every every but month why do you want to say Cubans aren't they criminal? I'm Cuba I'm oh, Cuban you're criminal too why are, why are we criminals? I mean, you guys are known for, like, crime statistics. What, are you, what do you mean? Like Albanians. You guys are known for, like, what increasing the crime statistics of the U.S. Where did you find this information? I think you watched the movie Scarface one too many times. You're like, that's just what they do. Like, where did you find this information? You go to Cuba and literally walk through the streets, and all you see is open doors. You can walk into anyone's doors. Yeah. So I don't think that I've been to Cuba. there's that many is people. Is it Lord doors? What's that? Is it low IQ? They're, they actually have a... What, they actually have socialism a Socialism and communism sucks. So let's just start with that. But what they do provide is free health care and free education. Oh, wow. No, Full it's stop. actually not because you don't have uh, anesthesia anymore. There's no syringes. There's not right, so any resources um, yeah, to, to actually do any surgeries. You need to submit, or any submit to American imperialism. Capitalism. Uh, capitalism. Yep. Submit. So none of that works. Astrid, submit. You win a billion dollars. <laughs> what do? are you doing with it? Oh, by the way, you didn't say how much you're giving to Zerka if he was, God forbid, homeless on the side of a road. <laughs> well, I would have a lot more money, so I don't know if he needs help. 
Depending on his circumstances, if he's a pedophile, I'm definitely not gonna give you any money. Why? Sir. I would fit in but with But I feel Cubans. like you're putting on a front. <laughs> I feel like you're putting on a front and just trying to create controversial topics. And I think you're a smart no, guy I'd for that. So join, I'm just gonna. I'd love to join your Cuban uh, crime organization. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna fund my my charity. Hey, let's be honest. Albanians, Cubans, like. <laughs> They are the criminals. Okay. I, think, I think really what happened, John, okay. <laughs> speaking of the Albanians and Cubans, you probably just sat down. Did a bunch of blow. You did a bunch of blow and you watched Scarface. You took Taken. Watch the movie Taken. You're like, that's what these people do. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just doing prejudice generalities. Why are we pretending and I respect like, that for you. Pre why are we pretending like immigrants don't do all the crime? I don't think that's true, Zerk. Really? I think a lot. Of, I, think a lot I think that's. 50% of the crime rap. is done by blacks. Well, they're not immigrants. Shut up. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you agree? <laughs> that what? That 50% of the crime statistics are done by blacks? That's You're my, done. Those are my niggas. Oh, Jesus, Zerka. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you admit it, nigga? <laughs> I was the old life. Like, he doesn't yeah. stop. Yeah. It's just I mean, like, welcome to whatever yeah. I can yeah. say, the people won't like me. Like Astrid. Listen, all right. Black here. people are out of control. You just got just your say billion it. dollars. <laughs> I'm not giving him anything. So. Zerk is not getting nothing. No. He's cut off. Unless he's begging, but even then, no. Allowance, yeah. nothing. No. Okay. You're done. <laughs> yes, exactly. What are you doing with the money? Um, I would you should pay. give it to the uh, home real realtor husband. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Listen, so what I would do is I would pay off my parents' home. I, yeah. I would retire them early because they're very young, um, and they don't really have much for retirement. And then I would... Create an investment portfolio to live off of, you know, <laughs> dividends and passive income, and then I would focus on financial literacy for people in like low-income communities. Respect. What's so funny about her answer? She yeah. actually just helped her family and helped the community. Because she's helping her husband out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cute. Why are you jealous you of my husband? You respect my fiance. You respect me more than your husband. <laughs> Stop. I do not understand him. <laughs> Sorry, You're right done. Now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, done. I'm not tripping. He's just yeah. jealous. Her husband let her on the show. Love. Would you let your wife on the show? Listen, I didn't yeah, know you were on the show. Yeah, she's in a safe space. We're not going to disrespect any <laughs> of them. Are you, you kidding? So there would be a Zerka talking to You're not disrespecting them. I wouldn't. They're but not what if I was flirting with your wife? Well, good luck if you're gonna steal the if you're gonna steal it's the girl from her husband. Kind of disrespectful to the person that's yeah. inviting you here in the first place. By the way, ladies, I'd like to have a one little fun game here. That's the end of that money segment. Um, some of you guys gave money to Zerka, some of you guys not. We learned a lot about Albanians and I'm Cubans giving books and, and movies. Them. You gave him some books. Oh, yeah, some books. I, yeah, it's, it's a little fun game, Zerka. Enjoy this one, brother. Ready? Lean I'm back. Bluffing, man. Lean into it. Have a little shot of Jameson. Lean into it, <laughs> ladies. Ready to play a game? Yes. Say. One nice thing about our friend Zerka, <laughs> and say one real thing that you're like Zerka. Nah, buddy, this clean this part up. So say one thing nice because he hasn't been all bad, but he hasn't been all good. They are very aroused. I, maybe that's one of the nice things. <laughs> Maria, say one nice thing about John. Nice glasses. Aww. Exactly. Nice glasses. And bro. Leave the cookie. Leave the coke. <laughs> well, it's from your country. Leave the coke. What's your country again? Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah. It's actually Colombia, but it's next door. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, um, say one thing, one nice thing about our friend John Zerka here. I think you're yeah. sort of smart for bringing up all these controversial topics to get views. Thank you for attracting views to the show. Thank um, you. Thank you for noticing. And then uh, one bad thing. I don't know, man, if you're for real about everything you say, but it's like well, hold a little on. bit is insane. It that, is, is it that bad if I say go to the kitchen? It is. Why? The fact that you don't like women to vote. Like, where, why do you want to go back in time? Because women vote blue. I don't want to vote Democrat. That's not what all women vote. But most women worldwide Zirka, lean liberal. Uh, you're trying are to you a U.S. citizen? No. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Vote blue. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You hold on. can't even vote, dog. <laughs> You're hold getting on. mad at people <laughs> for their votes. You've done your research. I, no, I just were like, hey, where are you from? <laughs> Albania. All right, great. This motherfucker can't even vote. <laughs> hold on. Don't you find it yeah. weird how most women vote liberal? 
I don't know the stats on that, but I know that Worldwide, soccer mom. I know, I know soccer moms control the country. Dude, eighty mm -hmm. percent of media Gillette commercials are catered towards the woman because they hold the credit card in society. There is some truth to this. So yeah, so it, it is scary. They do have the most credit they card have debt. Way too much. And the power. most student loan debt. Women have way too much power, and you know, women don't actually believe the voices in their head. Huh? What? What? Oh, what? Like my God. they marry the man I got who lost. waves <laughs> off the voices as crazy voices because women are told, I'm inferior, I'm this, I'm that, crazy voices in their head. And the, sex, the most sexist man marries them, actually. Let's get back to giving you some compliments, John. Because <laughs> we were going there. It's going down here. Astrid. I thought I was helping. Yeah, no, you're doing great, John. <laughs> Believe me. Astrid. Okay. Yeah. So John's done nothing offensive so far. Yes. Are, you aroused, are you aroused at all? Are you aroused? Everyone's aroused. I'm half hard on aggressive. right now, John. A comment? Just, what? No, I meant like hard to hear. Yeah. My ears. Yeah. Uh, Astrid, say one nice thing in front of our friend John. Um, I appreciate that you are a Christian because I am also a Christian. No, I, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm a Christian woman. And you're a Christian woman. You're out of the kitchen. This <laughs> <laughs> guy. Oh, I can't take this seriously. Guy. <laughs> wow. um, it's on purpose. And then what I also have to say? You know what? That's it. Would you? We'll, we'll leave it at being nice. Hold on. As a Christian well, woman, if you were single, nice. would you date me? Probably not. Wow. <laughs> but, don't you? I don't want to put words in your mouth, John. Yeah. Don't you want young feminine women to find a man and get married and settle down? Is that something you advocate for? So she's a young, attractive woman who met a man. Well, they not dated. Young. I like 18. All right, we know that. We got some petty I vibes you, you got going on. I thought you said was like the prime but aren't, 18, Isn't 19, this what man. you encourage Zerka for her to find her man and settle down and start to have kids? There's right, a process to it. Her man never told her you can't go on this show. Like no, I, he, he said she could go on. Yeah, that's the pr problem I have. Is that well, he that's doesn't a, that's care a little about cognitive bias. How are we going to do a show if these girls can't come on the show? Let's then it's just you and I two jerk <laughs> offs fucking d debating dinosaurs all right, the whole fucking if, day. If you, if you paid me money to charm this girl, she'd be so. But you oh have to take God. that up with her, homie. But that's the thing, is that she's in the room of arousal, and her husband let her here. But are is it are you aroused right now, Astrid? No. Well, I'm not I feel trying. like she's bewildered. I feel like she's right, right, confused. Right. I feel like you, there's a lot of if if you, adjectives we can go you, here. Aroused might you, not be one of them. Maybe if, it is. If you paid me money to get her to slip up, how easy would it be? Well, you we know, got a couple hundreds on the floor. Let's see what we can figure out. This very easy. <laughs> I can very easily hook up with her. Oh, my God. I passed. Think you are. No, 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 no. I'm saying if you didn't know the scenario. What do you mean by that? No, like you're not giving up on Brad Pitt, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Brad I'm Pitt. Lost. Yeah, you're right. I'm 6'5". I'm not 5'9". You just gained an inch before the show? <laughs> I thought you were 6'5". Brad Pitt is 5'9". That's true. I did gain an inch. <laughs> but that's the thing. If you told me, hey, Zerka, we'll give you $500,000. If you get her to cheat on her husband, it'd be very easy, my darling. Listen, I've I I've done am, this a lot I've of times. I've seen this movie. It's called Indecent Proposal. You watch it after Taken and Scarface and... I'm, not, you say, take the I'm money. not saying she'll do it <laughs> yeah. on camera. I'm yeah. saying she'll do it off camera. Are you saying that a lot of women on camera are disgusted by you, but off camera they're feeling you? I mean, I post on TikTok. Every girl says, I would never date Zerka. I post them in lingerie in my hotel bedroom. I expose them. Stop the cat. That's what I'm known for. That's why I went viral. <laughs> but women love men like me. Uh -huh. Even if they never meet me, they go home to touch themselves. To men like when me. you say men like oh. me, what what are men like me? Toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Yeah. Is it, okay, ladies, not but John. I think that attracts. Is there some truth to what he's saying? Yeah. I like think when, no. 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 I They're feel lying. Like, I'm look super at, turned on right now, so I don't know how you guys. <laughs> how's this possible right now? Look at their journey. I've never slept with a man in my life. After I heard about the coke and the blow and the dinosaurs, I'm like Zerka. Women are. What do it for? <laughs> women are. Oh, think of the act of sex. It looks like a genocide for a reason because it is toxic. Like, women are attracted to toxic. When I tell... Sh I'll, I'll give you this. Yeah. Women do like bad boys, yes? Yes. yes. Okay, some we have some agreement, Zerka. We're getting somewhere. What <laughs> is it about... They're gonna start lying. Watch. No, no, they're not, I'm not gonna let them lie. They'll lie to you. They're not gonna lie to me, because I'm, you know... Because you're Jewish? I mean, <laughs> that's not the reason, but sure, it doesn't hurt. You're what is it about? People. What is it about bad boys that is a turn-on? How about that, Maria? Um, I feel like it's a strong personality. Okay. 
The dangerous? Is that a good thing? No, no, no. Not dangerous personality. It's like strong personality in the way that they know what they want. Yeah. And they go for it. I like that. Gotcha. They can take Diane? charge. Someone that can huh. take charge. Take charge? Yeah. Okay. Astrid? Yeah, I want like a strong alpha man. Oh, we're getting here somewhere, yes, guys. getting alpha man. We're getting here. So, mm -hmm. Zerko over here, Nat, then we're going to come to you. Okay. And we're going to get to Super Chats. Okay. So, so let's say there's, okay, far left, Dylan Mulvaney, trans, feminine, discuss, you know, that whole deal. Far right, super toxic, you're not into it. There's, there's levels to this. So let's say 10 is, no, it's too much, okay? One is like not enough. What's a good level to be at? Five is just your average guy. So if you want a strong alpha, you know, take charge kind of a guy, what's the number on the speedometer? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maria, vamanos. I would say like 5.5. 5.5? Yes. It's a little low in oh, my book. That's okay. Kind of yeah. pathetic. Okay. For you. Diane? I feel like there has to be a bad balance between a guy taking charge and being respectful. Like, you could, I could be submissive on the bedroom all you want, yeah. but in terms of in life, Whoa. you need yeah. to respect me and How actually. Can you be submissive? I'm not going to be like, oh, Listen you to need this. to go to the Hope. kitchen. What's the speedometer? Be, What's the speedometer? How, how number? can like you be submissive? Seven. seven. How Hold on, Zerka, Zerka, Zerka. I'm gonna come to you. You're gonna, she's you're lying. gonna, you're gonna she's get literally lying. Astrid, the speedometer. Um, I would say like six, seven. Okay, gotcha. So you're between a five and a seven. Not too much. Not a, not not a little. Not too much. I, Nat, welcome to back to the show. How yeah. are you? You just dozed off there for a second. You were dreaming of Zerka with dinosaurs. Yes. <laughs> sure. Hi. Hi. Where's the number on the speedometer? Um, I mean, like for a manly man versus like Mulvaney, I would, I'm surprised about you ladies. I would say like eight, nine. Eight and a half. Oh, oh like he was saying oh. like top six. Oh. 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 Here, here it is. Here's the thing. It's yes. a fine line between toxic and like being like a dominant, assertive exactly. man. Okay. So 10 is like toxic. But if you're telling me like dominant, assertive is like eight, nine, that's what I'm going to go Guys, for. we're getting somewhere. Anything less than a five, unacceptable. You're not manly, yeah. you're feminine, not a good thing. Anything more than what is like toxic, okay. Now John is what number on the speedometer? Nat? I mean, I, I've never seen what him What number in that is eye. John Zerka? Oh, well he admitted he's toxic, so you're 10, right? Yep. Okay. okay Astrid, so then what number is John in your he, book? He broke the scale. He broke the scale. <laughs> okay. Diane? Oh. Yeah, he's at a 20. <laughs> he's at a 20. Maria. Yeah, 10. So what, what you're saying is, in real life, you would be attracted to a, someone like a John, a strong, assertive, confident, alpha, cocaine, whatever. I just slipped no. that one in there. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. But it, you got to take it from a 10 to like an 8 in real life. Yeah. Welcome to my world, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, you're looking at your Ocho Adam this out guy. here. <laughs> How are we doing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just so kidding. funny. I'm just <laughs> anyway, like, I love it. Your, let's, get, let's get back to something that John is a big advocate of which is traditional gender roles, right? Yes. John, you're gonna shine right now. We love yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, the trans community is killing themselves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so traditional gender roles, traditional values, that is sort of in decline or changing in America. Yeah, I no mean, doubt. the most aroused a woman can be is when she's told to shut the fuck up and be put in a birdcage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so see, like, that's the difference between like a 10 and like an eight, an eight would be like, he would check you, but in yeah. like a Just more respectful, respectful manner. Yes. He wouldn't say like, shut the fuck up. Right, I'll, yeah, I'll take it further. You would say, get on the bed right now and be quiet. They'd be Bro, like, okay, yes, I'll daddy. Take, I'll take it. Get yes. the fucking birdcage and start uh, eating some See, cat litter. It's like, well, yeah. 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 what just exactly. happened here? Exactly. Look, I don't want to ruin the podcast. Gentlemen, take notes. I don't want to ruin the podcast. 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 You're making the podcast. Okay, I'm going to ruin the podcast. No, don't. No. Don't blow it up. No, no the, hard R's. No, 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 no. No we pedophile admittance. We don't want admittance. We were around here. I'm okay. the only pedophile here. Okay, check this out. Who's got two thumbs as a pedophile? <laughs> this guy, John Zerka. <laughs> Look at the studies of domestic yeah. abuse and how long they stay with those partners. Oh. Because of the fear. No, All right, with the sounds, guys. <laughs> well, they, they stay for the masculinity and security. They're probably very, very um, no. women who have dealt with a lot of trauma and they're yeah. too scared yes. to leave is what I'm assuming. Exactly. Well, I mean, they're more afraid of a simp dealing with the trauma. 
They're, wait, say that again. They're more afraid they're, of... They're literally more thinking. afraid of a simp dealing with the trauma. Well, they did just sort of admit that anything less than a five, a not boy. interested. These are... Yeah. These but th think about it. Most but That anything more than a nine and a half, they're like, all right, you know. No, these women would be begging for me, let's be honest. Why? Well, I mean, when you compare me to every guy who texts you, they look kind of weak. Like, let's be honest. It, can you call you anyone... If, if, all right, then call one person on your phone that will talk to me on speakerphone right now. My girlfriend. Go call, oh, call one I'll man. Call no, no. She girl, has a girlfriend though, John. Girl, Do you girl, approve that message? The we, lesbian vibe? No, women. Women are pathetic. They can't fight with us. Bring one. Well, man, let's hope we're not. Bring men one man who can challenge me. Challenge you to what though? Anything. It doesn't. That's what I mean. They they choke here because Zirka, ready? I'm challenging you to a naked mud wrestling contest after the show. Oh, I would wrestle you. Not me. We have that. a we have a sumo wrestler <laughs> out here. But and that's going to get views. Think but about the sumo wrestler is 17 and a half. Okay? Okay, this is my this Wait, is my Wait, what best. if I wrestle Circa and win? Uh, you win. I was a wrestler in high school. Then, then I like well, good. Diane. Let's not get delusional here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, let's let's let's, let's stay in the real world. John is a six four badass. Yes. You know, toxic masculinity guy. And remember, the cover boy for this potentially. Remember, no man yeah, right in these women's phones, in their iPhone, could challenge me. Do you, do you, you know, like to fight? How do you feel about fighting? I'm down. You're down to fight. Yeah, I'm done. But not. But at this point in your life, why would you want to fight? Like, for instance, dude, I, I played college football. I would get in fights, frats, beers, parties. Like, at, the, at some point, I was like, dude, I, I never want to get in a fight again in my life because I got too much to lose. At this point, your career trajectory is doing great. Right, why would you even want that nonsense in your life? Who's got more to lose? You. The, the, exactly. So I'm going to hit harder. Yeah, but why would you want to get in a situation where you're getting in a fight? Because sometimes... People fight dirty. Maybe they have weapons. Maybe some dude rolls up with a gun. Next thing you're fighting some guy because yeah. it's, it's like a big dick pissing contest. Yeah, and it's like, rather than even just getting a fight. As a Christian, if someone pulls a gun on you, you know, that was happened, that, that happened, that happened, you know? So what happened? You, you got <laughs> killed, nigga. So what is that? You don't want that, John. But, but that's what I'm saying is like, no woman on this panel can have a man challenge me without getting their teeth broken. Yeah, but I, I, John, what I'm encouraging you is don't get in random fights. Right, but uh, think <laughs> of like, this. Like, what is the most keep your pretty face on camera? Again, I'm bringing without a black eye or a knife wound. How toxic is the woman's mask? Like her arousal for masculinity. These women cannot name one man in their phone that would fight me. That means they're the most attractive to me. Well, why would they so you're saying the either? definition of a man they're most attracted to is who would win in a fight? Yes. Ladies. Do you agree? No. no. You're not attracted no. to the toughest guy? Would you no. ladies be attracted to your men, your friends, after I beat the fuck out of them? That's what I thought. So shut the fuck up. There, uh, listen, as nonsensical as what he's saying, there is some truth to it. There's always, there have been, like, no woman gets turned on seeing their guy get his ass kicked. Of course. But right? then to rebuttal that, why would they get turned on with a guy who just wants to fight everyone? Exactly. He's basically, exactly. I don't, like, want, I don't want to speak for you. There is some Neanderthal qualities, some caveman qualities where, like, if you ever see the woman who was in, uh, being interviewed by Rogan, she was saying that her husband was getting beat up in a UFC cage and he was like doing this and it, she immediately lost all attraction to him. Mm -hmm. You're nodding your head. Why? Well, yeah, you know, it makes your man look like he's not able to, like, you know, handle okay. himself protect, and protect, yeah. you know. All right. I think that's so there a, is some immediate. truth to what he's saying. There is, there is a truth, but I mean, but at the end of the day, I know he's saying. I believe I can. I think don't put yourself in that position to even have yes. to fight. Like I was with a guy where, like, you know, somebody was trying to you know, cut him off and he would want to go outside of the car to fight them. And it's like, why are you trying to do that stuff? Mm -hmm. Like right. for me, why it's really turn something? on when a guy can control himself. Exactly. Yeah. And be like, you know what? It's some, someone touch me or whatever. Correct. You know what? Yeah. Let's go out of here. Yeah. But correct. Let's be mindful. Let me give you an though. example. Let me, let me give you an example. Oh, 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 ladies, let me, let, me, let me break this down. Let me give you an example. Johnny, okay. let me know if you do something like this. I was just an Aspen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a bar with a girl and some drunk dude is like bumping into her and hitting her, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, hey buddy, like the lady, you're, you're like hitting the lady, like relax. Drunk <laughs> as shit. He's like, yeah, what are you going to do about it, bro? I'm like, Guy, this guy's five six, like in no shape to get his ass whooped. Like I wouldn't like. Yeah. 
But it wouldn't be a fair fight, is what I'm saying. I was like, buddy, you don't want this right now. Just like, stop. And he's like, I'll show you stop. Like, and he gets, all, there's that vibe. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I'm like, guy, don't like, don't, like, just chill the fuck out, right? And then he initiates more. Now I'm like, all right, bro, now I gotta whoop your drunk ass straight up in a fucking bar in Aspen. And the girl is like, no, please don't fight, please don't fight. I'm like, I don't wanna fight this guy. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I like, but cooler, like, heads prevailed. I was like, that's it, we're fucking out of here. We're going to the next bar. Boom, we out. And she goes, I am so turned on right now. Like, we just got yeah. out of here right there. Okay. Yes. But the point is, I didn't beat the shit out of this drunk idiot. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Now you know I'm going to jail. Yeah, but, I'm in Aspen. But, but, but you, you don't smarter. want that in your life. Is it she would have been more turned on if you knocked out that fucking bitch. You think no. so? But not you think if so? you got like, still protected. Diane, what would you have thought? I thought... Would, you I, have, I, would, I, would, have, would my girl have been turned on if I would have knocked some drunk idiot out? No, I think it's sexier that you... Um, heard her and you Poli act. politically correct answer. Right? No, that's no, her no, answer. Wait, wait, wait. Zirka, oh, let her Zirka's answer. making a good point He's though. Being smart. Smart. Okay. She's answering the question. And I then you'll like, go. I feel like Adam was being very smart in that situation because why get yourself into a fight where it could attract cops? It could like make you ruin your whole night when you could just go to a different bar and keep going. Okay. Easy and KO. Enjoy it. Easy it would have been an easy KO. Easy I know. KO. I, okay. been, I've been in college, I get yeah. it, Florida State. Hey, hey, every yes. chance you get for an easy KO is I've been there done that is my point. Oh, I don't yeah. want that in my life now. I'm Easy you, KOs in your twenties are cool, not said, your forties. But you guys she, are talking about two different parts. You're yeah. talking about the build up to the KO. He's talking about it's fist her up, let's go. If you see your man knock out that guy, you're gonna be like, that's my but, man, right? Now, whoa. are you saying, are you Zirka, saying- Zirka, you got a fan over he, here. But it's not, but <laughs> you guys are talking about two different points though. Yeah. The build up, because for me, I'm attracted to, babe, let's just go, I don't wanna get in a fight, let's out. To me, I'm more attracted to that. But if it came down to it and mm -hmm. fists were going and my man was in a fight with a man yeah. and he knocks that man out, I'd be like, that's my man. That's my man. That's my man. <laughs> like, so what you're saying is... two different yeah. situations. Yeah, okay. You're two talking about the situations. build up and then you're talking about the actual fight. If the drunk idiot at the bar and asked him to knock me out, he's taking my girl home. Oh, now. yeah. <laughs> For sure. She's going to be like, oh, my God, she's now, so bad. Yeah. Like, he's only okay. five, What six, about you, two. Astrid? Yes. I think to refrain is so... Self, more self-control and Correct. sexier yes. because Correct. you never know what if that person had a gun what a if they had a knife mm -hmm. and then so I'm like well now you dead I can't you Correct. know cool. <laughs> but you that's, the, build, that's the build up that's well, the build up on. and hold not on. the actual if fight a, if he had a knife or a gun it would just increase arousal what <laughs> Wow. And then what would be the aftermath but that, that, that's what I'm <laughs> saying is up. that you women are disgusting and toxic but I said I don't like that, though. No, no. Do you agree it, it would increase arousal if he got stabbed for you? No. So, stop <laughs> lying, bro. Do you believe this shit? Wow. The thing is, I you're think, around 18 year girl, yeah, 18 year old girls. Is showing. So They're lying. Your They're mindset, lying. your They're mindset is in oh teenage. Here's my vision of you right now, bro. You're just at like graduation day at high school. Yes. No, no. They're all 18. Oh. First day of college. He's like, mm. you're like, all you motherfuckers are getting knocked out. <laughs> I'm taking all y'all high school <laughs> graduates yeah. who aren't 18 and over, federal authorities, <laughs> and Zerka's taking all y'all chicks. <laughs> Done. True or false? He's like, graduation no, because party at my house. Boss. Look at Romeo and Juliet. The ending is death. It's a tragic comedy. These women would feel a lot more of, a, of an emotional kind of experience if the man got stabbed for them. That They're lying. They're disgusting animals for lying. Women are disgusting animals. <laughs> All right. well, you don't disgust them. them. Yeah. Okay. We, so. I... I Love you disgusting animals. You're beautiful, you smell good, you're feminine, you cook, you clean, you, you support. That's what I say when you're I'm like trying to... You're like the hottest disgusting animals exactly ever. That's exactly what I say when I'm trying when to When I let my girls out of her cage, they have the best time of their life. It's amazing. <laughs> By the way, we're going to get us some super chats right now because we do have some bills to pay. Yeah. Because we might have to bail Zerk out of jail after the show. Uh -oh. But I got you, dog. <laughs> Never going to let you rot in a cell like yeah. that. Don't let me drop the soap. <laughs> <laughs> you might like it. How do you know if you haven't tried it? <laughs> Zerka, you and I need another shot of uh, Jameson, but Natalia will read the Some super, super chats. chats. We you... get along too much. We do. Dangerous. We went to dinner and we were the yeah. only ones talking. Want to know why? Yeah. Because I was a former comedian. No, because we love, both love money. Ridic that too, but as I, absurdity intrigues me. Yes. And you're actually smart. Yeah. And I read through all the nonsense and the bleached assholes and all that, whatever's happening with the Don't pedophiles. reveal me, nigga. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I'm not using N-words. That's not my thing. But that's your thing. 
So if you have to deal with a black guy in a street corner, that's you. I love the blacks. Yeah. Just like Donald Trump. Can we take a Jameson shot? Yes. And then we'll shut. Woman, do your job. Grab the. I'm just kidding. Oh. No, no, please, would you, would you mind? Got, please grab it. Okay. Knock out the mic. Natalia's got the <laughs> super chats. Uh, by the way, if you're liking this episode, would you like to have John Zerka show up at your birthday party, your bar mitzvah, your wedding, your funeral, graduation funeral, party, uh, party. Uh, for your graduation party, for sure your graduation party, not your elementary school graduation party. High school party. graduation. We, we do have Zerka's contact information. He is any, worth any, the any, price of admission. Any 18 year olds in the chat. <laughs> He Holler. likes 18 years old. Would you please pass me that? Nat, right the, yes. the floor is yours. All right, awesome. Well, thank you all for the super chats today. We appreciate it. Uh, we actually have uh, Nima in the chat. He sent two chats. He actually has one of the biggest chats, but this is one of them. He said, I'm here to show my son John support as his dad. And then he also sent oh. another chat of just 50 well, bucks. You bald. Thank you. Little, you Shout literally out to you. have cancer. <laughs> Shout out to you, Nima. <laughs> then we have the uh, Louis Terrazas. He said, yo, it took Zerka super sure high masculine frame to bring out Nat. Haha, <laughs> wow. Uh, Elias the Aqu Aquanaut. Uh, w Zerka, Christ is King. Boxing, uh, super chat. He said, ladies, does Zerka give you BDE? And then BDE. BDE. Why? Well, hold on, hold on. Why are we pretending like the girls are not turned on? <laughs> Look at them. They're giggling. They are, I did see Maria giggle. I don't know if it was a chuckle. I'm their, giggling was, because you're I'm giggling sad of you. This is a of you. <laughs> of you. All I need is the popcorn. Be honest, be honest. Are these girls having a blast? I think they are having fun. I think yeah. it's like they like toxic. I've never heard of this like a comedy show. Like the yeah. man will not give yeah. them this By the way, just for the record, this is a drama comedy, guys. Yes. Relax. Comedy. Don't take it too seriously. I thought you protect your picture. This is a reality show. Yeah. You got to play offense and defense, John. You can't just be on offense the whole time. This okay? is the Jewish defense. position. Exactly. <laughs> I teach you about insurance, insurance and wills and estate planning. I can't have you going out there. You're spending everything. I'll play some defense. You know? Let's go. Then we have uh, Abraham TV. Thank you, Sauce, for the podcast on my birthday. W. Zerka. Happy birthday to you. All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It is, uh, Abraham TV. Abraham, happy, happy birthday, birthday, homie. Happy birthday. Uh, Zerka, cheers to our friend's birthday out there. Cheers, Yay. cheers, Abraham. And that's cheers. a biblical name. That's right. Remember, Jesus is king. Everything these fucking bitches learn on Kim Kardashian is useless. Literally nothing they the read. No book they read will last for thousands of years. But what has last? What has? A, what what lasts for thousands of years? Dinosaur the books. The gospel. <laughs> Jesus is king. And remember, this is the first book to say man, woman together. Be honest with me. Did you read the Bible front to end? Yes, Uncle King. Like Kane. cover to cover. Mm -hmm. Uncle King. He read that shit in like 15 you read minutes. It all. <laughs> I read Jesus Uncle King. Done. Holy Trinity. <laughs> Years ago, and, and here's the truth, right? Yeah. There's nothing in the Bible you guys can debunk right now. I challenge you. Mm -hmm. That's There's, what I thought. Not trying That's to. what I thought. Hold on, Zerka. We're not trying. There to. is one story that I have an issue with. Hit me. And it's in the Old Testament, so I'm also calling out my Jewish people right now, which I know you love. <laughs> now I like you. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I'll call out, you know, what I used to say in comedy, it's like, it's not racist if you make fun of everybody equally. You're equal the more whitish Jew. You're yeah, it's called like Ashkenazi you. Jew. <laughs> there we go. That's what it's called. But there's a story of Jonah and the whale. Jonah. Do you know this story? What's wrong with it? Did you read the story? What's wrong with it? Okay. What's you don't wrong believe with in it? miracles. Mm, not these types of miracles, because here I'll tell you why. He lived in a whale for a month. <laughs> for a month? Okay, uh, okay. You, you could tell me that Moses parted the sea, that jo Jesus has risen. You go, Nobody's living in a whale, dog. So uh, you believe. The whale is going to eat you or spit you out. He's oh, not just like, how you doing down there, buddy? All right, there, Mr. Why? Whale. We good out why? here. Why right. can so Moses split the seas? The whale's a little absurd. Why can it's a Jewish Moses, biblical story. Why can Moses split the seas, but he can't live in a whale? But that's my point, is it's all kind of Why can you get nonsensical, on board? but let's stay on the one you thing I've You can't get on board with one miracle, but not the other? So just it's all miracles, we just got to believe the miracles and don't question it? They built the greatest civilizations on earth. It's clearly the word of God. Okay. Me and you are going to go to SeaWorld after this. We're going to fucking hang out in the whale for a month, do some podcasts in there, bring some blow, some whores, all that. So let's go live in a whale, baby. <laughs> you in or you in? Yeah, I'm in, but in. Check this. I'll be honest. You don't Annette's believe. Book, guys. I'll be honest. Annette's I can book, see. I can see your face. Yeah. Hold on, girls. I'll fuck you after. But I can see 
In your face, you don't believe in dinosaurs. I can see it. You convinced me. You, no, no, I can see that you think it's a hoax. You dinosaurs? literally smile John when it's a I saw Jurassic Park, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Spielberg. He's Jewish. He wouldn't lie. Okay. He'll take my money at the box office. You, we know that. You sound, but, like, you sound like me when I'm trying to fuck the girls. Yeah, I know. But I'm at an eight, I'm at an eight and a half. You're at a 12 the and a half. The truth is, so, you're the only yeah. one turned on here. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, no. I need All a, I'm trying to do is make love to that camera right there. You don't believe in dinosaurs. I, I, John, say it right me. now. You believe in died Tyrannosaurus Rex? The only time that I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex is when I had no money and I was broke and the bill came. I was like, oh, oh. shit. I can't I can be get to my pocket. I'm right now. I got crocodile arms out here. They oh, sorry, it. John. Could you pay for dinner? And you're like, there's a reason why he memes it. Now, I, I think you're doing super chats. You it don't believe Zerka. Zerka. You're the most entertaining motherfucker I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, see, Zerka <laughs> Some people hate so you. entertaining. Some people Bad love you. Zerka. You're absolutely bonkers. Which girl here is having sex with me? No one. How? This girl. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I your old lady outside your car. You know what's funny? If the girls could answer honestly, I would be looking like a hero. Please John, put how about a lie this? Detector. How about this, John? Ready? Ladies, permission to have another game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which girl do you think? is the most turned on by you right now, and which girl is the least turned on by you? Because they all don't want to fuck you. I don't know if any of you do, but which one is the most turned on? Which one is the least? That's a good question. I know, that's what I do. <laughs> I would say, you know, I do good with Latinas, but she They're would, all Latina. She would be number one because she has a boyfriend. She's comparing him to men like me she would be number two and this leftist would be number three but she's enjoying it so she's the most turned on she's the least yes okay I'm the not the I'm lesbian the who is not I'm the least turned on. Yeah. She's the least. No, I'm the least okay she's the least gotcha if you got me alone in a room with her I would. Is it because I'm engaged? It's because you're turned on by her. I think you're turned on by her. She's engaged by a man who doesn't tell her what to do. He's going to write Astrid. Does your man, Astrid, does your man not tell you what to do? I mean, I listen to him. Like, if I'm going out. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you listen or do you not listen? Do you listen okay. to shut up? It depends up. on the situation. He does he say, he does he say he does not shut up? That's the does difference between that 10 and 8. Shut up, bitch, swallow. Jesus, John. See, she loves me. I don't know if you're going to say that to your wife, though. You would say that to your wife? They love it. And that's why do you're you not a wife? Because you don't have a wife. Because oh, oh, have oh, a wife. There is a difference between an 18-year-old. Be honest. And a... Do wives like dirty talk? <laughs> yes. In a yes. safe space, not when you're Women do like them. that. Yes. So she doesn't feel safe with her husband. That's the truth. No, that's why I'm marrying him. I do feel safe. You feel more safe for me. <laughs> he doesn't actually know you. That's why she's laughing. No, I was shocked. I was put next You're to you. You're a literal <laughs> clitoris is horny right now. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to take a quick break right now. Just, uh, so we have a chat. Super oh, chat. Oh, we're still doing yes. super chats. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, you, you got yes. Jaden over Let's here. Let's go to Karen in the super the chats. Yeah, I feel bad for the husband. <laughs> okay. Chats. Yeah. The husband uh, is going to find you, and he, he's going to like ruin all your Take real estate. All right, we got Mike Biggs. He said, uh, chill on the soundboard, let him cook. It's Berserker time, Crisis King. Yes. We got Berserker Alex time. De La Cruz. Happy yes. Sauce Cafe. Adam and Nat keep uh, being you. We see you all the time, Alex. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I see you in every chat. Thank you. Um, we got TRC in the building. Shout out to you also. I'm an indigenous Native American Canadian American <laughs> in our land of Catholic Church uh, committed genocide on my ancestors. Uh, then we have Christian Marks. Oh, Christian Marks, I went to high school with you. Shout out to you. Uh, he said, shout out to my old friend, Nat. Question for Zerka. Would you rather give up uh, the cocoa or live a life as destiny? Uh, yeah. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. No propane the rest of your life. That's an answer. That, or, that, that's an easy one. Which one would it be? What do you think? Um, I don't know. Whatever's more controversial. Well, Christian's asking. I'll do anything not to live his life. <laughs> so you give up the cup. Okay, got it. Good but, question, Christian. By, by the way, I love doing blow off a teenager's okay. asshole. Can All I right. do teeny, Can I do blow off your asshole? Well, how old are you? Okay. All right. Too old, bro. She's not 18. <laughs> she's, 19. she's not 18. So. You see how she's not your more, type. She, not your type. Her blood circulates more with me than her husband. That's okay. sad. Right? <laughs> you want me to okay. bite you, don't you? <laughs> Please don't. I don't want your gross illness. Please, we're going to do one favor. 
Don't Naga. bite the guests. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please, <laughs> say whatever you want. Please don't bite No her. biting. <laughs> I got you, Patrick. Last few. Yeah. Last few last By the few. way, I'm kosher if you like some Jewish food. You got to bite this thing right here. <laughs> yeah. Last few so we can get up to some topics. Um, someone said, I usually don't do drugs, but when I do, it's with Joe Rogan. Then we have a Junior. He said, Circa, hook me up with your uh, dealer. I want to travel to the quantum mm -hmm. realm. And then we have one last chat that was just came in. Don uh, P41. Uh, they all wanted to wrestle him. We played the clip. Zerka wins. Yeah, basically my dealer is a. I like cocaine. That's the truth. We know. Guys, breaking news. I don't know if you knew <laughs> this. <laughs> we know. John's we know. into the white stuff. What? Yeah, Murray. I know what? that you just found out. My guy Zerka. Time is life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we have one more last one by uh, Wired. He said, You're Zerka. Me, bro. <laughs> we just become best friends, Zerka. I'm your one phone call. <laughs> we gotta go to Columbia. <laughs> last chat. Yeah, we gotta fuck yeah, these women on cocaine. <laughs> Okay, okay yeah, I think too many drinks. That's Zerka. take charge. I am, I am. Oh, 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 Look Aww. me in the eye when you say Aww, that. Appreciate, appreciate you too. <laughs> you give me a drink. No, 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 cook me a sandwich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cook a sandwich, bitch. Go cook me a sandwich. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. When I tell you about talking when you do the super chats, <laughs> how am I supposed to do the super chats? I told you about talking when you do the super chats. Yes. How am I supposed to talk without the super chats? I'm sorry. I told you, I'll figure it out. I'm sorry. Good sign language, bitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the super chats. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. No. John Circus is on the show. What are we doing out here today? Oh, Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, guys. We didn't no, hit any topic. Hit, Let's hit a topic. Hit, wow. Let's hit a topic. <laughs> Let's hit okay. a topic. Wow. Um, did you guys hear what happened with uh, BB Rexa and her, I did. And her, her Let's boyfriend? Let's cover that. No, we talk happened. about that? Let's cover that. So no. BB Rexa, actually, I think she's a very talented musical artist. Yes. But she may have gained a few LBs recently. Uh, I know if a girl gains one pound, that's it. She's in the birdcage. I get it. <laughs> but her boyfriend called her out a little bit. Mm. And she started, much like Jonah Hill out there, the girl started putting the text out there. What's with these girls putting their texts out there? So she's dating a guy named Kian Safiati. It's kind of, maybe it's like a Albanian kind of a guy. Uh, <laughs> criticizing her weight. Now they're hinting at a breakup. So the couple oh had God, an argument about the weight gaining BB's face. So she took to Instagram, by the way, that's BB Rexa, mm -hmm. actually a she talented artist. Uh, she took to Instagram to basically air out the dirty laundry. What's her big song these days? Somebody knows it, come on guys. It, oh, she remixed the I'm do and I mean and I'm not. It yeah. used to be I'm blue. It used to be I'm blue. <laughs> I'm, if I was yeah. green, I would die. Yeah, stop. Uh, and then she did the remix that's like I'm on blow. I'm on blow. Is there a it, It's on good. Uh, it's on good. I know that one. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We got fucking DJ Angel out there. You play the goddamn song. Here's what she said. The text looked like. Thank you, Angel. You're welcome. It says, Hey, I never hey, said I you never, were. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Nat. You're doing great at reading. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, I said, Hey, I never said you weren't beautiful, and I never said I didn't love you. In fact, I said how beautiful you are and how much I loved you. But I always said I would be honest with you and your face changing so I told you what it was that was the conversation we were having and you asked because I care would you rather I lied to you you've gained 35 pounds obviously you've gained weight and your face changes should I just pretend it didn't happen and that is okay come on I gained three pounds and you call me chubs and fat oh. doesn't mean you don't love me if you're trying to find reasons to break up uh, break up this break up, uh, make this make sense, but this is not the real reason. If you're unhappy with me, yourself, with life, and don't see a future with us, uh, then that's okay, that's the reason. Don't use something like that to weaponize your anger or anxiety or any insecurity you may have. You know I always found you to be beautiful and loved you no matter what. I think it's important for you to think about things and write things down, speak to a therapist and do the retreat thing that you, 
get to root, to get the root of the problem. Let me know if you'd like to speak. If you need more clarity, love you. That was sweet. Wow. Wait, so okay. You gotta this? shut this fucking this bitch up. Oh. <laughs> this one. That's you just learned how to read. Now you want to shut up? bitch hey. guards right. the fuck up. Men <laughs> are in charge. No, women can go fuck the, the Women can go fuck themselves. Hold up. He wrote that to her? Okay, yeah. so let's yes. just... Uh, John, thank you for your insight. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. He wrote this to her. Now she's leaking the text. And the whole... The whole... She's looking for... Situation is maybe she's looking for an out or basically people to weigh in on whether she should break up with him or not. But the fact of the matter is, I think the only truth... Or part of that is she gained 35 pounds. Yeah. Fat so, ass bitch. Right. <laughs> so if you if you if your girl I'll go to you, Zerka. Yeah. Your girl gains yeah, you gotta beat three her up. pounds. You gotta beat her up. Your girl weighs three pounds back in the kitchen, in the cage. But if your girl gains 35 pounds, your 18 year old beautiful girl that you've been dating for like 15 minutes, if she gains 35 pounds, <laughs> no, then she what do you do? How do you how do you approach this? Obviously, then she doesn't look underage, so I gotta beat her up. Jesus, John, oh, that's a fish. really far different answer. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, I, let's be, be honest. honest. Let's be honest, dude. If you want to be healthiest, you have to be close to your high school weight. They say. Not true. What if you were fat in high school? Yeah, and, and then you had yeah. a glow up. Then you're a fat cunt. <laughs> I, w I bet that were you, you were a fat. fat cunt? I wasn't, but I bet you were before you had your growth I, spurt. I oh. was, and then I took steroids. <laughs> were you chubby? <laughs> were you a chubby guy? And John, then you, you did take up? a lot of steroids. I yes? took a lot of steroids and cocaine, and I'll be honest, man. Were you Let's chubby? be honest. Probably Fixing was. the fitness issue is way more happiness than actually eating the McDonald's. Okay, so just to be super clear, your girl, your actual girl, don't don't, don't joke for one second because I actually want to get a truthful answer out of you. Your girl starts to gain weight, whether it's five pounds, ten pounds, whatever, it happens. What do you actually say to her? Bitch, you're getting weight. Boom. Truth. Okay. <laughs> Ladies. <Yeah. laughs> Bitch, you gotta suck dick with less weight. <laughs> You like that? No. She's so turned on. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Wait, who's first? Uh, Look, watch the Latinos get turned on by the truth. Maria. Maria. Hi. You want Hi. You How want should a man approach their, his relationship with this woman if you did gain some weight? How would you like him to bring it up? So actually, I really like the way that he texts her. And I feel like he texts her that because probably she blocked him. And he has to do it in public, so. Mm -hmm. But I really appreciate the way that he did it. Like, hey, he your said, face. What if he said, "What you a fat ass bitch?" Um, uh, my past, I was anorexic in the past. Mm -hmm. So that Would for a woman. Would you not suck dick? That for a woman is a That let's for a woman, actually, here. sometimes woman is a little bit more sensitive in that aspect. So I wouldn't appreciate if a man does that to me, says oh, so, that to me. Okay, so you dealt with some anorexia issues. Yes, All right, I'm sorry. I did. No, it's How fine. How did you cope with that? Um, actually, being a certified personal trainer that helped me to understand the nutrition facts, the workout facts. So now I'm more aware of what to eat right. and how to work out and all of that. So, so that actually helps suck a lot. Dick. No, John, that oh, doesn't have to do anything let's, with that. Let's, I, I told you I'm going to keep it in the rails. Right. And then we'll do the other rails later. <laughs> I trust. Stay in the, you trust me on this, John? Do you trust me? Yes. Like, John, you just submitted on camera to trusting a Jew. I submitted the, best to the Jewish Thank guy. Thank you. <laughs> we were the, we were the OGs. So and then I Jesus actually, I did actually his think thing. that he approached it in the correct way. Yes. He was like, "Hey, listen, your face changed. Yes. You gained some fat. It's not a lie. So she okay. has to deal with it. And the next step is like, let's see what we can change in our daily basis, like nutrition, or we should work out together, or something like that." But I think that she took it probably too what personal. If, what, if, what if he spat on your face? Okay, uh, you let's, talking let's about go in. <laughs> Diane? <laughs> Toxic masculinity wins. These girls are so turned on. You, like, I think that you're doing you a reflection. Nice? Every girl here is moist. That's the truth. It's not the cap that you spilled on the them, cap. John. I mean, okay. You guys want to <laughs> do, <you, laughs> do a bump in jail? It's After drink, the show, John. Drink he spilled on himself. That's Diane, what he's if, if yeah, a man's Diane. woman, if you gain some weight, how should a man approach? Yeah. By the way, this is actually a serious issue. Hit it, feminine. Guys want their girl to be healthy. They want them to be hot. They want them to be feminine. 
And they might be like, dude, my, like I have one buddy whose girl gained men a lot of weight. Men don't a lot want, of weight. Men and I'm like, yeah. I'm scared to bring it up to him. He's probably thinking about it. Yeah. We're all thinking about it. Like, she's what getting... if she's an ugly whore? No, she was actually a pretty young <laughs> yeah. non-whore, but then he turned into a fat whore, and I don't know what's happening. And I have questions. <laughs> How should a man bring it up, Diane? <laughs> Hit me. Diane, you're done. Would you, would you, you have, save the go whores. Ahead, Diane. Okay, so I agree with Maria. The text message wasn't bad, and he also said that she kind of also tells him that he's chubby whenever he gains like three pounds. So I think like if he just said, hey, your face is changing and I just want to make sure if you're like, are you okay? Um, maybe some people like overeat because they're depressed. Like, mm -hmm. so just like checking in on her and being like, you is everything okay? Fat people overeat? What? Like, oh, like think, like who overeats when they're depressed? I mean, binge eating, like when you're like eating because fuck. you're depressed and you're not in but a good state. You want your man fuck. to bring it up. Yeah. I think you should bring it up if it's something that is oh, bothering yeah. you and you well, feel like she's not in a good state. Why do you think he's bringing it up at 35 pounds? Shouldn't he brought it up at 5 pounds? Yeah. Because he probably pounds. didn't really care the until oh, it ahead. became, yeah, like he probably didn't even care until it became so when he was busting like something on that your, he could see. When he was busting. John, John, I know where you're going with this one. Dude, just let yeah, I like her. Let's listen, listen to her. Listen, yes. I think yes. the key yes. is... She would fuck me. Okay, stop. No, I wouldn't. Oh, my god. I think the key about that is that he said that you said I was fat after three pounds. Like, I think he was doing it a little out yeah. of spite. So yeah. we need to pay attention to that. And one, I don't think anyone should bring these matters public. I think with the yeah. whole yeah. Jonah Hill situation, like, that's I dramatic. think just that's just very tacky. Um, I've been in the situation where my my ex, my partner, has gained a little weight. Um, and to be honest, I think the reason why I was more turned off was because we were also going through some toxic issues where he was being a little disrespectful to me. Um, and I think it's something where, hey, you encourage your partner, like, oh, let's go for a run together. Let's work out of the gym um, and see if it's a deeper rooted issue. Is it this more so, hey, we're just... He you know, have, you know, you get couples weight. You know, when you get together. Have, you're saying he should have spat on you. No. Okay, we gotta stop with you. I think <laughs> I think we're all cut. You guys are all. You guys all make valid points. I actually think a text, to be honest, is probably the best way to tell your girl. Really? Only because sometimes men don't know how to portray certain yes. emotions in a way. But then she's gonna look wrong. at that forever, sometimes. though. Then wrong. she's gonna but be insecure. But here's the thing: that that's not. Listen, the case, you though. can but forgive, but you, you can't if forget. If you send a text message and the person you care about is telling you something about, like that was a very respectful message, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. If I yeah, saw that message. Was anybody offended by his message? No. 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 He did okay. Yes. yes. Well, she yes. was because she posted it online. But here's the thing, though. He said something very key that we all, you guys, all miss. He said something about going to a therapist and speaking to someone. That in itself tells you she's not mentally in a good place. No, yeah. that if tells you not... he's a weak, pathetic man. Okay, oh my okay sure. He should have said. That's your opinion. He should have said, "Whore, shut the fuck, shut the fuck down." Someone take that's his mic. Right. Right. But annoying. here's the thing, though, is that you know I think today I think it's appreciative when your man is also sharing his attract, like his level of attraction. What's attracted to him and yes. not some guys would just pick up and leave you're fat mm -hmm. you're disgusting i'm gone right zerka yeah okay but you're saying, you're saying <laughs> okay. listen to what she's saying she's saying some men should be satisfied with the un unicorn answer wait what what's what? the unicorn answer the gay answer wait, any what? straight what? male would say shut the fuck up bitch i'm doing it my way wait what are you no, talking about wait i lost no if the most men are you've saying never that. done that mm -hmm. said what you've never said shut up i'm doing it my way what, uh, what do you mean my your way? way? Exactly. Look, you... look how they have to redefine it. Uh, what are you talking about? Most men know their way is better than the woman's way. What way? But he's but trying to tell her way? that she feels... A, she's a little heavier. Who I gives hate. a fuck what she feels is reality. But here's the thing. With a <laughs> text message, Lizzo. I do want to make a point, though. Gentlemen, if you are dealing with this, a text message actually isn't on, the worst way. I disagree. It isn't the worst way to tell your partner. It isn't the worst way to tell your partner because sometimes if you're able to write it out, you're able to articulate yourself in a way no, that maybe you're not. Okay, 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 okay. But even if you rehearse it, your girl, if she's not in a good headspace, she's overweight, she doesn't feel good about herself, and you approach her and she's 
not in the mood about her weight. Well, that's why you find the right time. Okay, all right. But listen, sometimes it's not the right time. So you're not, you're saying text. Listen, I disagree. Because if you get a text and I'm like, babe, I got your text today. Listen, what do you mean? One, it's very... Now you have to have a conversation, Now you go to conversation. Listen, I think one, that is very impersonal and nobody likes a very impersonal message. You're bleeding. Two, on top... Stop. Check this out. <laughs> two the on, truth is. Hold on, Zerka, let her go. Two on okay. top of that, Stop. I'm, I at least for me, I'm a little sensitive. Okay, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm the. If you guys believe in zodiac, I'm Cancer. I cry a lot. We're emotional. That's very attractive. <laughs> Anyways, I also think <laughs> you can forgive, but you can't forget. So in the sense, if you have that written out, and then that's something you're gonna refer to all the time, like, hey, you thought I was fat, like, or you don't want to be gotcha. with me for these reasons. I just think it's something where. The, as a woman, I would probably keep looking back at that text and be like, oh, why yeah. didn't he want to confront okay. me? But that okay, would ladies. be more something like, okay, like I would take this message, I would react to it, either I'm going to change my life and lose weight, and be like, wow, babe, like we were in this place where I wasn't in a good space and I wasn't healthy, versus if you look at it and you just dwell on it and you do nothing about it, then that's a problem but in itself. But you don't think she already knows, though? Like, let's be real. Well, yeah, like, I think most not people, into her when, they, when, they, when you gain weight, most people are like, hey, I'm not feeling my best self. That's why it's important to want, like, most people want to Everybody be knows when you know. they're a fat cunt. Okay. Don't oh, be rude. But yeah, she knows she's God. gaining weight, but, that's what but I'm it's saying. different so when, like, your man is going to the gym. Right. Right. you got a span, you're in very good shape. You look great. Thank Classy you. lady. Oh, Hello. John, you just recognized Model. that? Okay, yeah, I just out, noticed player. now. Yeah, we is. should definitely have sexual um, intercourse. If you did gain weight, how would you want your significant other to approach it? In person or via text like this? Um, in person, I think I would okay. want better. But actually, if it's in text and they do it respectfully, I'm also okay with that because I'm not a person that goes back to my text and starts like, like looking at them you over like, and over again. <laughs> if, like I just like handle are the situation into, and get over it. Are you into scissoring? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we turn well, off his mic? I think oh. a text is an <laughs> intro into a conversation, <laughs> oh, and sometimes nah, men don't know it. how to have we an intro said to conversation. The same thing Fifteen times. Okay. Before. I just want to make sure. It. I'm just want to make sure. She we agrees with you. Okay. Not me. So text. Fine. We got the message. Wait, okay. Here's the truth. Not, I got the text the message. Truth. I read it. Not Here, wants a text. Here's the truth. I got the message. Whether it's doctors, whether it's doctors. Listen, you and I are scissoring after the show is okay. Done. You already know that. Maria, do you want the text message or do you want a in person? I would really appreciate both. Yeah. Like the text message <laughs> and then, listen, babe, I send you this message. This is my opinion. Like and then clarify the you whatever John, John, the text go, was John. about. Okay. And then clarify the text. Are you okay. saying the message over the wall? <laughs> Stop it. That's uh, fine. Well, uh, listen. Wow. I got her smiling here's, my, here's, here's the deal. Because I actually think this is an important subject. <laughs> We've all been in relationships where we gain weight. We've all gained weight. We all have... Guys are very visual creatures, and if there's girls getting weight, they're like maybe not so much into it anymore, and they're thinking about it. I, I feel like a girl will deal with a guy who's got a little, you know, dad bod that sometimes a turn wealth on. Wealth belly. Wealth belly, as we call it. Wealth belly. Here's what I would do, because if I'm eating good, my girl's eating good. Yeah. Right. Yes. That love so, weight. Right. So that means we're eating out of good restaurants. That means life is good. We're going out to bars. We're going to restaurants. That means we're probably both. Gaining some weight. Mm -hmm. So I would kind of put it on myself first. I'd say, hey, look, babe, mm -hmm. I'm not feeling my best. I've noticed I've gained weight. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm okay. Not I like that. This talks yes. on. You guys, okay. you guys, he's talking. I didn't just show up. I didn't just clap it up for your boy out he's here. Been, he's been it. Didn't been through it. That's and then, and then, you know. Zerka's pissed. And then <laughs> I was like, so first. I mean, I could go the Zerka, Zerka approach, like, shut up, you fat bitch. But I don't think that's the ending that I want for this, no, because I do love my girl, and I want her to look her best. Because right, but the again, outcome, you're, not, you're solving for the best outcome. Right. Again, I want my girl estrogen, to lose 10 pounds. How can I encourage that? Estrogen has a way detrimental outfit than testosterone. So you're fucked. Yes. Your bitch is going to get fat as fuck. What? Okay, but what if... Your woman, again, she, she goes through pregnancy. She's bearing your child, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to get mad at her because all of a sudden she has, obviously, post-pregnancy weight. No, 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 no. There's a time frame there. That's There's different. a time frame. This yeah. is how this works. Yeah, it's different. She has a year. <laughs> a year? That's <laughs> oh, it? <laughs> yeah. She have a year. 
You had the baby. Are you paying for that <laughs> surgery? Like, you if that's the case, you pay not, not, not everybody you bounces back. Like you don't get injury listen. involved. That's not true. everybody bounces back. Tell people you're missing this baby. Do you're milking that, the, milking that kid. Don't, and then sooner rather than later, you get back in the gym. But not Bitch, or, not or year. we're having another kid. That's your what, option. So you don't like notice it if we have another kid. You're just no, like, because oh, you'll pregnant. be pregnant again. Depends and if it's a male or a listen, female. Listen, not everybody's <laughs> genetics is, is yeah. similar. Like no, I'm, no, 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 no. What you're doing is is just forgiving you, allowing. It's like a coping mechanism. Just be fat oh, all you no, want. No, no, I, take two years, take ten I years, agree, take twenty but years. I think be it's, fat. it's no. more so. It's less to do with okay, the fact that like for me, I get turned off not because someone's fat, but more so. Are they having the habits to take care of themselves? And usually it's associated, they're eating more, they're depressed about but life. But Astrid, you're, th you're thinking of it from the lens of a woman thinking about a man. She's li literally a, a woman, lying. A, She's a, lying. A, if a cow. fat man told her to shut the fuck up and suck dick, she would like it. Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> That's why she giggled. Stop. You're That's the right. truth. I'm just they trying giggle. to understand. We'll we'll they have they have literally vote. giggle We're for the truth, nigga. Do we have a vote here? Do we want John to take it from a 10 to an 8. From a 10 to, yes, five. to a 5, please. No, it's never going to go to a 5, ladies. Right, Let's not be delusional here. That's because it benefits their wallet. To an eight. That, to an eight. That's because it benefits right. their he wallet. He hasn't stayed if on Zirka, topic for the, the past four <laughs> topics. If Zirka is more poli politically correct, we'll have to have a meditation it, they session make more afterwards. money. But the truth is, if they're going off vaginal juices, they would keep this. Well, <laughs> that's why she's giggling. Vaginal juices. One. Especially the Latina one. Vaginal. Latinas love me, right? <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> yourself, <laughs> baby girl. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> He's you, the you one that's okay. Build the wall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're, next John? Are, you're an immigrant. John? I am an immigrant. I don't are we care. good? It's arousal. Can we move on? <laughs> we gotta do arousal. Is anybody here turned on other than me? <laughs> I can let you I know. You have a so husband. Found. That turns me on the most. Diane? <laughs> Diane? No, I need to, I, I, I hand, need to meditate at this point. Diane, like, how about this? I'll make you a deal. Would you like to trade seats with uh, one of the ladies? No, with Maria okay. or Natalia? No, let her I'm get okay so. Here. Okay, are you, look at that's a trooper right there. <laughs> I get to take the mic off of him when he's oh, doing going like too much. <laughs> okay, ladies, we're gonna do one last story. Yes. I'll let the ladies pick. Yay. But, Even the Mexicans? But Zerka has to approve. That's how this works. <laughs> uh, ladies. We're going to be here all year. Okay. I know. Should we talk about Pitbull talking about what's wrong with society on Drink Champs? Should we talk about what defines a slut? Amber Rose speaking with Jesse Lee Peterson. Should we have an OnlyFans conversation? Or should we talk about dating a cougar like Michael Jordan's son? All of them. We don't have that time, sir. Yes, we do. <laughs> you Why are you pretending you have a job? You're going to bring the dinosaurs <laughs> and, the, and any question. Okay, so you girls, right. you show girls have no job. Show hands for Pitbull talking about modern society. Why are we pretending these we girls are waiting wow. to get fucked? What defines a slut, Amber Rose? <gasps> no. no. Only fans conversation. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan dating, uh, Michael Jordan's son dating Scottie Pippen's wife. All right, Pitbull. well, then we're going to talk about this. I'm curious what, what he had said. To say. Yeah, what he said. Zerk, I actually think you're going to thrive in this one. Oh, this is actually yeah. for you. Where don't Ooh. I thrive? Maybe among these four Normal women right now, but <laughs> in general, you kill the game. Thank John you. fucking Zerka. Yes. Take some notes. Yes. Dinosaur hunter. Yes. Buffalo hunter. Immigrants we steal everything. Here. Okay. He's an immigrant. So here, we're talking about... <laughs> You're talking about yourself, right? People's talking on the Drink Champs podcast recently. I'm horny. We know, I see, John. we know, see, we yeah. see Give him some water. Oh. Give him some water, guys. Some water. Water. Go get some water. Okay, all right. All right. Let's, I'll, 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 let, let me do my thing guys, for a yeah. second. Then we very all aroused. aroused. Very aroused. We know, John. You're around me. <laughs> it's derailed so fast. So, Pitbull's no on the Drink Champs. Yeah. Guys, can I get an intro for the, for the fucking goddamn short clip here? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to SauceCast. It's a shit show today with John Zerka. <laughs> We're having a great time. I want to give respect to Zerka for being here. It's nonsensical. It's amazing. It's entertaining. It's Blood sometimes... flow to my car. All the time. <laughs> but I want to give a, a, a quadruple shout out to these lovely Latina ladies. They're, they're classy. They're dealing with the good, the bad, the ugly. Make sure to follow them on Instagram. It's all down there. I got to give you guys credit here. John, at, real talk. The ladies are good. They're nice. I, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I would keep them. 
Cut. In a cage. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a cage. In a cage. For each other. In the kitchen. Notice, notice the how they joke about the cage, but they really are fantasizing about it. There is Anything no a woman sh- jokes about. If you go to the as, woman, as as if essential. you shut the fuck up, if you go to a woman at the bar and say, "Hey, pretend to be my girlfriend. My girlfriend's watching. My ex girlfriend's watching." The woman who pretends to be your girlfriend actually likes you. If she she says, yeah. If yeah. She yeah. Says, anything yeah. A woman exactly. can, You're done. Anything a woman can role play, she'll actually do in reality. Thank you for that, John. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah, that's great advice. No, that's shut the, the fuck up. Bar. She just told you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> These yes. three got our role play sucking dick. <laughs> if you have it. All right, guys. Oh. Stay tuned to the after show when we're here with John Zerka. We're getting sued, You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so... We're talking about modern society today. Here's my mm-hmm. intro, guys. We're talking about modern society today. Pitbulls on the drink champs. And uh, they're having an actual intellectual conversation, but in like a hip-hop kind of way. It's kind of dope. So let's play this clip of what they're talking about and see if it resonates with you. Volume, man. Out of the Bible, one of the most famous stories is what? It's Adam and Eve. Mm. What did Eve bite? She bit the apple. Look at the logo on your fucking phones. It's a bitten mm-hmm. apple. So therefore, everybody biting that bitch right now. You know what I said on the rhyme? I said, most people hold on their phones. Two hands holding your phone. It's like you pray to it. Yeah. Well, think about it. Like That's True. what you're, uh, you're actually doing. You're actually sitting there and praying to this device. It's a cell phone, phone, baby. It's a cell phone for a reason. You're prisoner to the phone. You're in the cell. You know why it's worse than dope? Because at some point on dope or on any other substance abuse, you actually realize that you're hitting rock bottom. You will never realize you're hitting rock bottom on but social media. In, in social media, he has a great line. He says, how are you going to know the matrix if you don't know you're in the matrix? No, the other great line. And the, and the users. The users. Say, say it. Not, he, said, he said, the only two industries that call their customers users it's software drugs. companies and drug drugs. Illegal drugs. We live in a world of criticizing thinkers. I come from a world of being a critical thinker. I like to listen, I like to look at shit, break it down, and then so when someone get to talking shit, you go, okay, that's cool. I appreciate that and I acknowledge your opinion, but what about this? Well, I said, Boom. Not All right, man. cool. There's a lot that they covered right there. Actually, yeah. I thought that was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So uh, there was a lot of uh, double entendres right there, if you're familiar with that, how that works. Entendre. Yeah, there you go. Entendre. They were talking about the Bible, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Shout Jesus out to the fellows out king. there. Jesus is king. That's right. There he is. Uh, actually, is that's his Old Testament. That's, that's the Old Testament, but we're not Jesus counting. Jesus hasn't come in yet. They talked about, very interesting, uh, Adam and Eve. Eve took a bite of the apple. Look at the Apple logo. Apple, <gasps> iPhone, bitten apple. Uh, Mind blown. Oh, shit. Okay, they're talking about um, praying to the cell phone, yeah, right? Cell. Watching your phone. All right, then they said, all right. Well, the cell is actually a cell, like you're locked in a cell because it basically consumes your life and you're locked in and you're basically a slave to your phone. They talk about um, people are addicted to it. It's basically dope. And the only thing that um, calls their base users are dope dealers Mm -hmm. and social media companies. Interesting. And they talked about the matrix. You know, know you're in the matrix. Shout out to Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. He's calling out the matrix. So when you hear all this, it's actually a great clip, very intellectual right there, beyond. Yeah. Um, you're a highly religious man, Mr. Zerka. Yeah. I'm going to come to you first, because obviously everybody knows men first. Um, what stuck out the most to you, other than... Uh, drug users. The drug users. No, I yeah. didn't say that. Look at the, <laughs> what stuck out the most to you? I mean, look at the building blocks of life. The Adam and Eve is an A-T-O-M, Adam. Mm. The building blocks of life. Everywhere you look, you see Genesis. They literally, every ambulance symbol and paramedic is the serpent on the staff. Everywhere you look, the Bible's inverted. You've got to really ask yourself why and ask yourself, are you tempted? Of course we're tempted. This is the only story that makes sense. Do we need to be saved? Of course we need to be saved. Even if we're perfect, we're sinning. We need to be saved by the crisis. What is your midlife crisis? What is the biggest crisis in your life? Christ is king. And Christ is king. It's actually a very well thought out intellectual Amen. answer. Yeah. Right it was the water. Yeah. It was the water. It was the water. It was the water. It was the sobering up. Diane, what was your biggest take from that right there? Lots to, lot to digest. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. There's a lot of subliminal messages that the government Yeah, we companies... should talk. We should subliminal talk. Subliminal messages. Zerka, let them go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, subliminal messages that the company governments and just 
the elites are trying to put out there. There's and no I do, spiritual I do component. believe that You're there is there's antichrist. No Excuse me, I'm like agreeing with you. Excuse me. Okay, I love you. Let me kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, there take is notes. A lot That's how you have antichrist. to treat someone like Zerka. You got to let him put him in his place. I like yeah, yeah. it. Put that nice. bitch in his place. Shut the fuck Sign up. my heart. Sign my heart. <laughs> That's awesome. That's as, long, as, as big as it gets. Yeah, I believe there's a lot of antichrist messages out there and people pushing that verdict and I, I completely agree with everything people say that the cell phone is a cell and that is like the so word hot. is she's so hot the word the wording in everything that is out there programs is programming you it is a freaking matrix look yeah. at this everything is a matrix I, look and at you two falling in love the program, right now the, the, that, that whole simulation. idea wow. of TV show off. let's get let's go <laughs> That whole idea of TV was first created by the CIA, C CIA to make people believe <laughs> at everything that they wanted to believe during the world the world war. So oh, I completely shit. agree with all, all this. Right. He is so this. turned on right now. Yeah, stop Diane. looking in my eyes. Uh, Astrid. Oh, is it my turn? <laughs> yeah, oh, stop turn? falling in love with John. And hey, just like, married woman, uh, this is my time. <laughs> Okay, I'm engaged, not married Breaking yet. Breaking all soon. the rules. Yeah, it's okay. not an alpha so male. So, what was the question? Sure. Like, what do we Look, do? There was a lot of you. You, yeah. you said you say symbolism. Did you say what was it's the word you used? Subliminal messages. Subliminal messages, symbol amazing. Symbol by the way, by the way, apple. look at the money sign. It's a snake being impaled by Moses' staff. Mm. Interesting. Oh. Shout out to Moses. So we talked There's about the, 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 the bitten apple, the prank to the cell phone. <laughs> yeah. You're a, you're in a cell. The, the dope, the users, the matrix, critical yeah. thinkers, I mean, all these uh, well, symbolisms and uh, subliminal, subliminal messages. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to unpack right there. I think in general, like taking religion out of this, I think, again, social media tends to be like a, a pro and a con. In the sense, yes, it brings people together, but as Pitbull was referring to, like it's actually taking people to isolate themselves. We get so caught up in these images of, oh, this is what we need to look like. In reality, we're not really going outside and forming close relationships. That's why we have shows that are like, oh, men are like this, women are like this, and nobody's really in society forming valuable relationships anymore and, and wanting to but be don't, together. Don't women and that's suck, really sad. Don't women suck at because everything? Because people like Zerka are saying, oh, women are shit, are blah, you, blah, blah. What is something women are better at than men? Cooking. Having empathy. No. <laughs> Let's Did you hear her answer? Did you hear cooking, empathy. right? Cooking. Let's go to cooking. No, the best chef in the world Ramsey. are men. Gordon Ramsay yeah. is the best chef in the Sucking world. Dick. Women suck at cooking. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's hear the Listen. answers. Your answer empathy. was what? Having she empathy. She says empathy. So no, even though that's you're not true. Gay people stuff. have more empathy. Okay, by the way, Diane actually had a great answer. What was it? Ooh. What, what did you Don't say sucking dick. Gay men do it better. My God. Oh, how you know? No, no, I've done oh. the research. Oh. <laughs> Breaking Tell news. Oh, what the hell, bro? Oh, they oh, like to oh, bring oh, the oh, ass more out of me. John, you're cheating on me, bro? What the oh, hell is oh, happening? Oh, oh, guys. I'd rather be gay than attracted to modern day women. No, 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 John. So that no, okay. it's, it's, no, John, there's you sometimes I'm a modern way. Way. No, John, modern day no. women have been fucked 10 times. As they put the fucking wedding dress on. You think that's fair? Well, I'd rather marry a girl that had maybe one too many bodies than all of a sudden I turned gay. Bro, all <laughs> your buddies in high school shot a load on her face. Yeah, but I'm not banging Ooh. my buddies now in high school. Yeah, funny. But you're walking down her... John, what are you saying right now? I'm saying the woman who You'd rather who bang down your buddies than the girl who had too many bodies? The woman who you walk down... You can't down be serious, John. She's Zerka. choking on no cum. <laughs> So now you want to do that with your buddy? This I'm is just what's saying, wrong with I'm society. Saying, he's, he's on they, his phone too much. They're giving you a fake marriage. He's on marriage. his cell phone too much. They're That's giving the you a fake marriage. They should get the guillotine, get, like Catholic style. John, Whoa. you know, two things can be right at the same time. I agree <laughs> with you. Some modern women, they're, they're getting... No, you don't. You don't want women to get their heads cut off. That's true. Uh, Nobody here You caught me. That. You <laughs> caught me in the act. So you think but it's okay if is, I get a virgin? <laughs> yes. But she's not actually a virgin. <laughs> What? What? That doesn't yeah. virgin my friend. Wow. That's what they're selling. They pretend they have yeah, lower body count. I would What's your body count, woman? I'm not talking about that. That's those exactly things. what I thought. You know what she just well, said? Well, Nat's a virgin. She said, I'm Nat's ran. a virgin. No, she. Are you kidding me? John Zerka, Nat's a virgin. I swear to God, you're a virgin. Yes. If you're a now, virgin, John, I'm, I'm going inside you. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Definitely not. John, but hear me out. <laughs> if Nat did have two bodies, you're saying that you'd rather be not with her, you'd be with 
My homie Angel the DJ instead? No, no, no. fuck the football team. I'll go the two bodies. <laughs> like, but she's lying. Right you know she's lying. <laughs> two bodies since but, high school? But John, Come you're on. the one that said be, modern women, their body <laughs> count is too high. You'd rather be gay. But why would I believe modern women when they're like just Lane Maxwell? But you don't lie. want to be gay if you're not gay. If, you're, if you are he gay, that's that fine. Listen, people are listening gay. to Do him on their the cell truth? phones, and this is why we're not. Yeah, touch this me. is the. This is the problem with society. <laughs> Listen, do men they tell almost the, held hands. Do the, yeah, she's really craving. But do men tell the truth more than women? Of course they do. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't gay, like you've been telling less gay filter is more true. than woman. All right, John, you're really all over the place on the show. <laughs> I don't want to be gay, but I I'm think, saying take another these women of have right, All right, fuck it. I'll just say it. These women have cockroaches out there pussy. What? <laughs> just take water, please. That means that okay. it hasn't you been used. That's in a while. the mummy right there. Drink That's water. the mummy right here. Anyway, we were we were somewhere, but John just admitted he was gay. But I don't even think he's gay. But he might have just admitted he was gay. <laughs> but he would rather be gay than have it do a girl who's not a virgin. John, this, I gotta tell you, this is what's wrong with you society. Just, you, you had your best <laughs> answer of the day by far with the cross and the this and everything. It was amazing. The bitten apple. It was like. And wow. then you just went completely gay with us. <laughs> wow. well, women are dirty. How did we get there? I forgot. They're getting too dirty. No, I understand. Do you that. agree? That yes, modern day women are. are this one right here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Pick one. What's up with Which one? You and a, this one's acid. dirty. No. <laughs> she has been fucking ran through. No. Oh my. Really? I don't know. I just met her today. I met her today, and I think she's been ran through. Because what? You're not a ring on my finger. Shut you know who's defending her? Another woman that's ran through. Not at all. How many guys fuck you? If I would tell you, you wouldn't believe me. There it me. is. She's afraid. Defi How many oh, guys fuck the Latina? Hold on, hold on, hold on. John, I, th I think it's important wow. to define they're ran not through. They're not going to answer. No, uh, me and you are talking, baby. They're not doing... What, what is your definition of ran through? Well, let's be honest. Give me a number, though. They're getting a house. They're getting they're getting financial security and physical security, so they should be be bringing virginity. Anything Boop. over one is that. There it is. Hold on, hold on. Speak. Daff, Daffy Duck is ran through. Right Are you here. gonna get married with your 18 year old girlfriend? Maybe. Okay. Was right. she a virgin? Was she ran through? Yeah. Yeah, so now you took her virginity. Are crazy. Yes. Okay, Lucky so girl. you're gonna get married with her because well, like you're admitted. Well, I don't admitted. know if I'll get married. Okay, so we don't know if she's obeying oh, correct. No, right? because in two years she'll be 20, and then that's too old. Exactly. You're right. right? They expire. So that's it. It's you're like, right. They okay, do next expire. Anyway, uh, wow. Maria. This Women is our, expire this is our, at 19. We gotta wrap up in a sec. <laughs> We're back to Pitbull so here. <laughs> back to Pitbull. So hurry up. You gotta suck a lot of dick in one year. Keep up that good work, John. Um, the bitten apple, the praying, the cell phone, the matrix, everything we're left in. What was your biggest takeaway? I can't believe that it took us that long to come to you on this yeah, one. Yeah, I know, right? Welcome um, to Sauzcast <laughs> and Valuetainment, ladies and gentlemen. Hope really, you're, are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm entertained. Yes. I really agree with the overthinking. So nowadays, they say that it's a freedom of speech, but you, your opinion is different than the general opinion and they don't agree with you. And you get to, or you, you don't get to, but you get to- Cancel. Cancel yeah. or whatever. These when are, you're these just are giving the, your the opinion. Mm. Hold so, on, John, bear with me, baby. So for me, it's like, you're saying that it's freedom of speech, but if you think differently, you think more critical, you yeah. think more um, lashes, objective, more objective, lashes. and they don't agree with you and they don't let you speak. And you got the matrix. Yes. Everything that Andrew Tate talks about. By the way, John, here you go. Yeah, Andrew I'm, Tate. Did I'm, you see the interview that we did with him? The Patrick Andrew, Andrew Tate is a homosexual. Stop it. Oh, how you know it? Now we know why. Now we know why. Now we know why. He, he, know why, he how, literally he's, li he's yes. the fucking man. He lies to the youth that, and he says, women <laughs> are good at some things, and when, and men are good at other things. Just like you things. said, the same thing. The yeah. truth is, women suck at everything. Even a nurse, if you get shot by a bullet, do you want a woman to pick you up? She can't lift you. You want a male nurse. Do you want a doctor? Do you want Chef Gordo Ramsay? Men are better than... But why does a nurse have to pick you up? Excuse me, you're an immigrant. I don't give a fuck. Why does a nurse have to pick you up? Men are better than... Where are you from? Right. 
Right, but if I say okay. fast you know, enough, I'm not. She can have an EMT pick you up, and then she takes care but of you. That's the okay, thing. Let me. Here's I'm gonna get. Women her. suck at everything. Ladies, that let me do. Let me, let me, let me handle this. Real, ladies, name uh, one thing women are better. I disagree because I'm good at I'm gonna tell you the answer. He has to talk louder than I'm at this point. I'm good at everything. The main thing. I'm sure there's more, but there's main one thing that women at are better at than men, and that is creating life. Wrong. Yes. Amen Wrong. to that. No. Yes. Women give birth, despite we what do. some trans will say. <laughs> we all have mothers. Respect and, your mothers. And give Respect milk. your grandmothers. Love your daughters. Women give life. Yeah. Okay? Period. End of story. I can't believe that we're even defining that these days in America. Okay, today. answer this honestly. Let's just, let's just appreciate answer this, that. Answer this on, honestly. If men could give birth, would they complain? Yes. Oh my oh, gosh. Sure. Have you more. seen the videos? Zirko, Cold. why why are you You think engineers complain? Bridge builders? I am plumbers, an engineer. Plumbers don't no. complain. That you're not an engineer. I am. You're a I'm an woman. Electro engineer. You're a woman. Prime that means you're a retard IQ. I am an electrical oh, engineer. Zirka, what's your problem with Tate? <laughs> my problem <laughs> is he literally lies. He gives a watered down message that men are good at some things and women are good at other things. When the truth is, women suck at everything. <clears throat> so your problem with Tate is that he's respecting women too much? He's pathetic, <laughs> yeah. He literally gives up. I, I mean, think about it. Wrong. Do you feel comfortable with a female pilot? I know these bitches don't. I would. No, you I mean, don't. if she you mean? was a if professional was, pilot. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What if I she's on her period? Woman. If she's on her period? We is still that... go for our life with our period or You're not. You're lying. We will so bleed through the you... pants if we have to save you. Would these bitches ever do that on a lie detector? Yes. Let's do if it. If you fought Tate, Let's do, do it. you think you win? No. If Listen, you, you uh, versus Tate. How many rounds? Knockout. I would fuck up that bald midget. How many rounds? I want to fight you. I'm taller, I'm stronger, and he's bald. Stop the cap. How many rounds? Zerka. <laughs> How many He's rounds? A legit it's a street, world champion. Right, but I'm not in a boxing match. I would lose in a street fight. I would carve him to pieces. Wow. Do you yes. fight? Like, do you train? What do you think? I don't know. It's my question. I don't know you. What? what, what I feel Where like, do you think my fucking confidence comes from? Playing fucking tic tac toe. From the coke. Maybe. <laughs> Zerka, <Coke, yeah. laughs> Zerka, last question. Tate's not the kind of guy you want to piss off and rub the wrong way. And I'm not being like a fucking cuck right here. I actually respect the guy. He's a fucking G. He's a gentleman. He fucking, we've hung out many times. He treats us well. He actually uh, is intelligent, is cohesive. He, there's, so the many, there's so many good things he has going on. Why would you want to start a war with Andrew Tate? Because he's a faggot. Oh my god. <laughs> That's marketing, everybody. That's <laughs> yes. marketing. All right. OMG. Views. Well, anything more you would like to add to that? If you made your first million dollars yes. scamming suicidal men, he, they're about to ejaculate and the girls can't turn them on, so Andrew Tate has to do it. You really think I'm going to look up to that? Motherfucker, dude, I've been stabbed. I've been cut for my fucking legacy. Why don't I have his legacy? He literally texts men who are ejaculating, and you want to pretend that's normal. What? I, I, I'm not. I've interviewed He's the guy texting men for ten hours. Who are this, is, this is news he, to me. He said his e girls could not get them to ejaculate, so he would do it for them. Did he? True or false? I don't know the story. You know the story. I don't. Come on. Oh my God. The and and his boys got me jumped. I fought three of their Muslim goat fuckers. Oh, so there, you have beef with Tate. Yes. So this is personal. Uh, and no, no, no. It's this not, is personal. And I defended him for a year and got banned off social media defending him. But they don't like that I took 5% away from their Hustlers University. Dude, they're afraid of red pill rising stars. I've never been afraid of competition because I am a monopoly. These guys are pathetic, low life, no genuine burning desire from any of their women, bald fucking losers. What about Tristan? I genuinely, if you compare my clips to his, do you really think his women are around him for anything else besides money? You think Tristan? You think they're enjoying his fucking humor? Give me a fucking break. Tristan's a six five. Is he a comedian now, dude? Dude, 
let me tell you something. Women are around them for the Bugatti. That's the truth. Aren't and women around most guys for stuff like that? No. When I was in Trap House as a drug dealer, poor, they were <laughs> sucking the skin off my dick. For the you're drugs, taking, John. No, no, no. <laughs> you're not taking my black belt. They're black belt in, in kickboxing. I'm black belt in women. Women are stupid. They want to tell you they're equal. They're not. Women biblically are not equal to men. That's why these women did not perform today. You women are pathetic. What's that, Angel? You are. He's right. Ten minutes. Uh, Angel, you can talk. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Hey, he got, he got like ten minutes. Okay, yeah, you're yeah. saying time to wrap up. Yeah. I'm horny from okay. winning. <laughs> these women lost. Yeah. Do you agree? Um, I think the audience won today, John. I think yeah. the audience. <laughs> that's the uh, money That's answer. who won, and that's. Uh, they got the best uh, show. Before ever. we wrap up, <laughs> God, I have so much respect for everybody on the panel today. I do. I do. Uh, let's read some final super chats. John, we got to get you home in a little bit. We're going to tuck you into bed. Let's go. <laughs> get him in gonna <laughs> We're going to get you. Um, Did I deliver today? John, you're John fucking Circa, buddy. When did you ever not deliver? Yeah. That's what, that's what I want to hear from the Jewish community. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jewish community, don't ban John Circa. Yes. <laughs> yes. And also. All also. my friends out there that are running platforms that already banned me, thanks for having me back. But don't ban Zerka. And my dick is kosher. He's obnoxious. My dick is kosher. My dick is kosher. He doesn't mean half the things he says. Raise your hand if I'm having sex with you tonight. (laughs) Imagine imagine these women answered honestly. Yeah, I did, John. (laughs) You know what's funny? You know what's crazy? Yes. 100% of the people that I've ever had sex with, women. Thank God. Until tonight, John. (laughs) I'm fuck with you, John. <laughs> Wait, can I ask you an honest question? No, I actually got to go meet a girl after this. Like, real talk, so I got to get. Was I too extreme bit. today, John? Uh, there's extreme. My manager there's, said there's, there's ridic- a, ridiculous manager, extreme. My manager, and then there's John Hurricane Zerka. Zerka coming through. My, my, <laughs> just like the fucking Kool Aid man. <laughs> Let's go, bitch! Like <laughs> there's different yes, levels sir. to this. Okay. No, but my manager said burn this bridge. Was he Your correct? manager said controversy, controversy. Your manager encouraged you to burn the bridge. Yes. Define that. He said they're not going to ever have you on after this. John, I'd have you back. Really? Your manager's an idiot. I said the F slur. <laughs> your manager's a fucking idiot. Fire your manager. What's your manager's name? Uh, is Jewish Jew. Uh, Jewish Jew, today, today's your last day. Your manager encouraged you to burn a bridge. Well, he said, what a you moron. Guys, he said, when you guys hear me talk, you won't have me on. So you I don't think I've done my You're fucking done. research? You're having Nick on. Okay, that's you how you know that extreme. I'll have any fucking bambling idiot on here. No problem. I swear to God, I'm Your not... manager's an idiot. I agree, but... Why would you hire an idiot? <laughs> uh, honestly... So manager, are you watching so this clip right now? I get a bigger cut, but... Yeah. You should I'm hire a doing, woman. I'm not, whoa. You're, huh, that's your man- worse than an idiot. Is your manager a man or a woman? Definitely a man. I would never hire a woman. Okay. That's your well, I'd hire a smart woman over a fucking manager. I that's was, for sure. I would sooner hire a chim- chimpanzee. Than you have manager. one as your manager right now, Zerko. I mean, These what women. kind of manager says, come on, Value Tainment, yeah. one of the biggest plan- for platforms out there, and burn that bitch yeah. down? They said, because drop the F slur. They said, make sure you drop the F slur. Yeah, I'd have you back, you Zerko. You dropped so many slurs and D. Yeah, F- I'd have you back G- on. H- I'd be oh, honest. Well, your manager's not invited because he's a moron. Are these women turned on by me? Obviously. You're the only one turn on here. Anyway, that's like just all kidding. you've been no, saying. John's half hard right now, but it, that's as big as it gets. Um, <laughs> Wait, I, I'm, not, I'm not being a comedian. I have to explode with pee. Can I run? Okay. Run real quick. Or can you yeah. wait two minutes because we're wrapping up? Okay. Okay. All right. Just quick super, super chats. chats. Let me and go we'll through wrap them. Up. Thank you guys for the super chats today. We appreciate it. We've got boxing. Nat cooked me a sandwich. I'll pick on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Then we have a uh, redo. He said, John, my girlfriend is mad that I've been hanging out with a girl I smashed years ago. She is mad for some reason. Why can't she just be happy for me to? For me, I do it for her. Just cheat on her, what? she'll get over it. Then we have Elias the Aquanon. He said, please let Zerka have a bathroom break. Then we have Massachusetts <laughs> 617. Shout out to you for the big super chat. He said, Zerka's the best argument in favor of flat Earth is NASA doesn't talk about um, there being a barrier between Earth and atmosphere and the atmosphere of space, which is a vacuum. Anyone exposed to vacuum would die. There must be a ferment top Z. Uh, then we have uh, uh, Juan Too Many. Juan Too Many. Great name. Uh, <laughs> Circa. Name three countries. Like we have Juan Too Many immigrants <laughs> in this country. <laughs> <laughs> then we have uh, Waterproof. He said Zerka's annoying. Let everyone talk. Then we have Oliver mm-hmm. the Bot. Uh, shout out to all the fellow uh, 
That would Kane Crusader, cool. Crusaders. <laughs> uh, and then shout out to uh, Copau, uh, Copoke Ranch. Biggest super chat today. Uh, Proverbs 7, 100. Shout Thank out to you. you. Say numbers, Let's Matt. You know how to count these days. Dang, money, money. Um, then Proverbs 7, uh, 24 to 26. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your hearts turn to her ways or stray in her paths. Many are victims she has brought down. Her slain her mighty thong. Or throng uh, for Lucifer walks in the shoes of immoral woman. Then Amen. we have TRC again. He said, love, uh, free Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Zerka's a hater. And then let me see if we have any more chats before I don't like bald people. Rapper. France, Germany, Italy. Got Suck it. my dick. Jesus. Right. And now I got to take off my toupee <laughs> yeah. and reveal the real me. Like it's Scooby-Doo right Yikes. now. I've been bald this whole time, Zerka. <laughs> Yikes. But thank you guys for the yeah. super chat. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let's close it off, Sauce. Yes. Um, well, Zerka, I'm going to give you the final word. It is now time. Yeah. For the happy ending. Zerka, this might be controversial. You might disagree. I actually thought the ladies on the panel were very lovely and feminine and actually made some valid points. I know Thank that women you. don't typically do that, but they did it today. So, um, <laughs> what are you laughing at? His face. He's what like, I tell you about talking. make valid points, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he's going to get the final word. But until uh, we go to Zerka, ladies, the happy ending. This is the time for you to look in the camera. I'll let you go first. Um, Astrid. Oh, Talking to you, woman. No, talk about myself. Uh, right there. What would you? What was your biggest takeaway of today's episode? Where would you like people to find you? Thirty seconds. Go ahead. Boom. Oh my God. Why am I first? Okay. My biggest takeaway was that I'm not coming on a podcast again with Zerka, but it was great to meet you. Um, follow me. So follow me on FinTech Latina. I talk about financial literacy in my career in tech. So if you're interested in either of the two, please follow me on Instagram gonna, and TikTok. She's gonna touch herself after this to me. I can't with you. <laughs> okay, Diane, thank you for being here. Thank you. For what was your biggest me. takeaway, and where can we find you? My biggest takeaway is honestly, I had an entertaining time m watching this man go controversy after controversy after controversy until he couldn't stop anymore. Um, and you can find me on Instagram, Diane PS7. But be honest, Diane, I do were you turned on? Nope, you're the only what one. What a lie! Look at her on. body. When look you at her say body things, posture. you're just this a mirror. Nigga crazy. To, you're just a mirror to yeah. yourself. So okay. you're just well, saying I'm, what you feel. But you I get look it. At it's her okay. Body language. We're you just she's very hot. We're very sexy women. You think women. her blood is not circulating? I completely ask her, understand. Ask her. We're very sexy women, so I completely understand that you're completely you're turned on by us. You're not bored. I'll tell you that. She's not bored. I'm not bored. Definitely not. She's taking this. You set said the at craziest things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, but, that's okay. exactly what okay. you're. That's exactly what a fantasy is, by the way. Maria, okay. you know how I asked you how crazy you are one through ten of the uh, I crazy did that. scale. He went. You said eleven. He went all over me. Like forget about. She like she loved me as soon as I built the wall. Over. Okay, Maria, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Of course. So you like Dora the Explorer? <laughs> I'm Diego inside that. Oh my God, that she, was her cousin. She's loving it. Why are <laughs> we pretending she's not loving it? Okay, um, <laughs> so my best takeaway from here, Come it here. was like patience. Dora. Yeah. It's patience. Yes. That's a good like, one. Dora wow. likes the both. Patience or a patient? I think that like both. a mental patient. Yes, I think that both. <laughs> I have to be patient for this yeah. patient. Yes. <laughs> and you can find me on social media as Mandre Quintero. I'm Notice a certified personal trainer, me, so like follow me, the plug. Follow me on my Instagram. Her bounces when she messes with me. Let her talk. That's it. All right. Uh, let's They're make sure horny. That They're literally horny for me. Obviously, John, we know that. You keep repeating it, so it obviously it's no, true. No, but I have to, like, like they try and hide it. John, but I know you got a piece. You have so some type of show. insecurity. Or... I don't let you off the stage and you pee your pants and this clip goes viral. If oh. these girls don't like me, they do a line and they'll love me. Okay. Nat? Yes. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling phenomenal. Thank you for doing a great job with the Super Chats. Thank you You did an awesome having. job reading. Yay, reading. Besides being incredibly turned on by John Zorka right now. Definitely okay. not. What uh, was your biggest takeaway? Would you like to um, tell um, the people at home? My biggest takeaway, I think... Uh, my biggest takeaway, uh, I, you actually didn't let me give my message to Zerka. I think the most positive thing about you is that you're a fan of Valuetainment. I think it's great that you find value here with what we do. Um, my advice to you would be just be mindful of some of the things that you're marketing, like when it comes to like certain 
extracurricular activities because some people don't maybe have certain you know levels of sustainability like you um, but aside from that today was very entertaining thank you ladies for you know standing up for what you believe in and making your point and sauce thanks for leading the show today you ladies yeah. you, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. you so uh, that's my closing message and thank of course you. subscribe follow share do all that fun stuff hit a, hit 200k with us if you're a fan of John Zerka hit a sub and a like to have a little respect or if you hate John if Zerka, you're not a double fan subscribe. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate him for coming. Um, no, nah, of course. He's yeah. very entertaining. Zerka, stand up straight for me, brother. Come on. This is your clip. Yes. This is your, this is your clip. Okay. Get go. your this clip. Show right. your height. Show I, your height. Ladies. I would suggest you go glasses off for the final second. Right. And hat off. And hat off. Let's see. Hat off. I, I'm sweaty, but I have great eyes. Let me tell you something. You're, uh, where's Zerka, ladies and gentlemen? Where I think, are the is eyes? he out there? Ladies. Yes, Zerka. Look straight up. The stage is yours. Thank you for being here today, brother. Thank Happy you, ending, final word, your biggest message. Yeah. Right there in the Action. camera. Which Mr. Zerka. Crisis is king, bitch, get in the kitchen. <laughs> he said Mike Chris. Drop. He didn't even say Christ. <laughs> Do it drop. again. Christ Do it. is king! There you go. <laughs> it's a Chris. <laughs> we don't know who it's Chris, but you're Women the king. Are unbearable. <laughs> Guys. I gotta pee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, this is the okay. final message. Get in the kitchen and learn. I'm going to make you a sandwich. sandwich in a second. I told Sorry, you. Cook that sandwich. Yeah, cook a Guys, sandwich. you know what? I, you think I got an easy fucking job over here, ladies and gentlemen? You think this is easy out here? It's Congrats usually us. tough to deal with all the crazy girls. But I got fa John. It's hard, it's, hard being the, it's hard being the Jewish guy taking all the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dale. Toss it out. Oh, okay. Dale, sir. I'm going to treat Zerka like I treat my strippers out there. <laughs> but Zerka, you're entertaining as fuck. I believe, I think you believe half of what you say and you say half of what you believe and I respect that. If, if you uh, believe, I believe the 100% of what I say, you wouldn't even have me on. That's true. Well, your manager uh, wants you to um, burn, it's burn totally the bridge. It's totally comedy. I wouldn't guillotine these women's heads. <laughs> but um, we do this for you guys at home. And uh, hopefully you found some value and I'm sure a lot of entertainment today. And uh, it just shows that Valuetainment is a platform that will have anybody on, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we appreciate you guys at home. I appreciate the ladies and the gentlemen out of here. Now, Zerk and I are going to go bang after this. So uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys we do the Friday this week. We do we the Thursday Jewish PBD. homosexual ritual. Nice. <laughs> Freemasonic Jewish Perfect. homosexual Catch ritual. that on our OnlyFans. Saz and Zerka go wild. Adam22 is watching. Yes. All right. We'll see you guys next week. We're out. It's the Saz cast, baby. That was good.